right. Shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakradash, for giving us the spirit to do this lesson. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Bahashem, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, being the name of Yahweh's only begotten Son and our Lord and Savior, also who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Bahashem Rakakradash, meaning in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And shalom to the hopeful elect, which are you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. All right. You know, like I always show at the beginning of these videos, if you see yourself on this 12 tribes chart, all right, you know, you make up the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, all right, the true Israelites according to the Bible. All right. You know, if your father, because your nationality is based on whoever your father is, according to Numbers chapter 1, verse 18, I believe, you know, uh, you know, you are whatever your father is. So if your father is one of these nationalities on this chart right here, you may indeed, you know, be an Israelite, all right? You know, not those people over in the land of Israel, you know, right now claiming to be Israelites, all right? You know, we pretty much touch on this every time we open up, you know, so I'm not really gonna touch on it today. You know, you pretty much should get the point by now, all right? Those are not the true children of the Lord. You know, those are imposters. When you read Revelation 2 and 9, yep. Three and nine. Three and nine. Kind. Even when you read the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28, they don't fit none of those curses. No. You know, so those are not the children of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Those of you, those of those that you've seen on this chart, we ones that fit those curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28 to a T. All the way from the so-called Negro to the so-called Hispanic and Native American. All right. We all fit those curses. We've been on slave ships. You know, we had to serve this damn devil, Esau, even the so-called white man. Now right. it's time for us. Esau gonna serve us, man. He gonna be put into slavery. Kind, right, that's exactly what's gonna happen. You know, and that's that's kind of we're gonna kind of get into that because, like the brother mentioned before we caught the camera, you know, uh, he wants to bring out Isaiah chapter thirteen, and we also gonna bring out Isaiah chapter fourteen as well. Because I was just kind of realizing that it's kind of giving a, like a direct order of how things are gonna take place. You know, Isaiah chapter thirteen, it goes into the downfall of Babylon the Great, the destruction y'all see going on right now. Kind, of, yeah, exactly. <laughs> It goes into the downfall, the destruction of Babylon the Great. And then right after you read chapter 13, you know, it talks about how Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to place us back in our land. And we're going to have rulership over the, over the heathens, you know. So it's going, that's exactly how it's going to happen. And we're Lord willing, we're going to touch on that in this lesson, you know. So, uh, yeah, like I said, you know, I'm not going to go too deep into how those people over in the land of Israel are not the true children of the Lord, right? right. It should be self-explanatory by now. Yep, and you people should know, because, you know, brothers been doing lessons on it, you know, and, you know, we've been going over it, you know, all the time, so. Kind of. Yeah, it should be, yeah, be self-explanatory by now. You know, if you still don't understand it, you know, there's plenty of lessons out there, huh. you know, going over it. I got a few lessons on my channel dealing with it, you know, so if you want to get more understanding on how they're not the children of the Lord, go, go check it out. All right, you know, inshallah, we want to use birds and use like foreigners that scatter out in other nations that look like other nations, but are in fact Israelites, all right? You know, so we are here in the highways and the byways, once again, to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom known as Babylon the Great, aka America, also known as spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom, spiritual Middle Book, kind of spirit, mystery Babylon, yep, spiritual and wicked yep. religions and, you know, secret societies that they have, kind of spiritual Rome, Greece. You know, a lot of uh, uh, great empires and kingdoms of the past all pretty much put in one, all right? You know, also we're out here to preach the gospel, all right, the gospel and the good news, all right? When you read Isaiah chapter 61, you know, I might go, might as well go ahead and read it, okay. you know, uh, just for edification purposes. I pretty much bring it out every uh, highway and byway lesson. I can give you a Yeah, Isaiah chapter 61. Okay, okay. I started at the top. Yeah. Okay, this is Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 1. The spirit of the Most High God is upon me, because the Most High hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to build, bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Most High, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that more, to uh -huh. To, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord 
that he might be glorified. And they shall build the old waste, they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolation of many generations. God, yeah, so pretty much, you know, as first and foremost, as you see, you know, the gospel is for the Israelites, right? It says to uh, for those that are in Zion, roughly paraphrasing, you know, it says Zion. Zion is another name for Israel, right? So number one, the gospel is for the Israelites, all right? So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. And then it goes, it went on to say, you know, that uh pretty much, you know, the gospel is dealing with, you know, uh pretty much preaching good tidings to the meek, those that are in the lowliest state to preach the, uh, the you know the, 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 the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance, all right? The day of vengeance is dealing with the gospel, all right? Because a lot of people, they hear us talking about all this doom that's getting ready to come to America and all that, and they'll say, how's that a good thing? It's a good thing because America has to be taken out of place in order, in order for things to be set back in its rightful order, all right? In order for peace to be here on the earth, in order for us to be back on top where we're supposed to be, America, Babylon the Great has to be destroyed, point blank, period. So therefore, that makes the destruction of Babylon the Great part of the gospel. You know, this is part of the gospel. So as you just heard, you know, that's what the gospel is, all right? It's pretty much telling our people that we're about to be brought up from this lowest state, all right, you know, and put back on high like we're supposed to be. And, you know, pretty much letting you uh, letting y'all know that America, Babylon the Great is getting ready to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles according to the Bible via World War III, and also from uh, fire that's coming from the chariots. You know, that's part of the gospel. Yeah. And the Heavenly Father is going to bring His Son and the angels to destroy this place as well. Man. God, exactly. That's uh, Isaiah chapter, uh, that, and, uh, I know it's in Isaiah. No, Isaiah 66. Then it's Isaiah 66. We're talking about how the Lord is going to come back with uh, fire in His chariots like a whirlwind. That's how the Lord coming. He's not coming back giving out hugs. Cupcakes and love like these damn Christians. God, man. Exactly. And that's exactly why a lot of our people don't fear, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh because this image of the Lord has been portrayed to be like uh, somebody that's just so nice. And, yep, Caesar Borgia. Yeah, Caesar Borgia, that faggot with the white, uh, the, the blonde hair, you know, blue eyes. You know, Lord willing, they'll take the video God. down. But yeah, look at that. Look, look at that. God, exactly. See that? Yeah, every time. You know, I don't know if y'all see it, you know, but boom, right there, y'all. Yeah. Watching this, man. Exactly, it happened every time. I'm, we're not, we're not lying. You know, we can't say it's a coincidence. It happens every single time. Like we just started the video seven minutes ago, and here come the cop strolling by. You know, so it's like he, just, he came by yeah. earlier, and now, now yeah. they came by again. You know, it's, this is what happens. Like they literally, they, they drove by when we first started the video, and then once again just now. So yeah, they watch it. But at the end of the day, we know this is what's gonna happen. You know, we ain't bothering nobody, so they can't even, you know, make no claims against us. We just people out here, we just brothers out here reading the Bible. That's it. You know, that's all. But yeah, you know, these are the, 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 that's part of, you know, the gospel. You know, this place being destroyed. You know, thermonuclear missiles, and also yeah, I was shot coming back with the angels. All right. You know, we're living in those times. You got something? Oh yeah. It's Isaiah chapter thirteen, and I'll start at verse one. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Lift ye up a banner upon the mount, the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the noble. I have commanded my sancti sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for mine anger, even them that rejoice in his highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a talk T tumultuous noise of the kingdom of nations gathered together the Lord of hosts mustered the host of the battle they come from a far country from the end of heaven even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land God, and just to make a point that's exactly what you're seeing right now because if you haven't been paying attention to the news and everything that's going on you're seeing all these different countries getting angry at, Amer at America Babylon the Great they starting to rise up against America, Babylon the Great, and saying that they're going to destroy this place. Yep. Chiefly, uh, you, uh, Russia and North Korea, China, yep. they're making threats against this place. All right. Yep. Putin, Kim Jong Un. God. And, 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 and you know, it's, and even even in the soccer games, people are going against uh, the, the USA, man. They hate the they, they hate so-called America, man. That's right. how you know this place is wicked, man. Here it is, the soccer team. Everybody's uh, one one of the top favorite sports, right? And, now, and they're rooting against America. They're booing. They're giving out boot. That's how you know 
Babylon is a is a fucking joke, man. Or it's a laughing stock. And the Heavenly Father, man, he, this is he's going to bring the downfall of America, man. Huh. Okay, and he's going to destroy it, man. Yep. Off the face of the earth, man. He's going to crush everything that that was the everything that America was founded on in the in the pieces, man. And it ain't gonna be remembered no more, man. God. So so here it is, y'all worried about fucking money, man. Fuck that damn money, man. Because what you gonna do when they get rid of the dollar, man? Yep. What you gonna do in that day, man? Y'all worried about y'all 401k, what house, how you gonna live? When you when you should be worried about coming back to who you are and acknowledging the Heavenly Father and look at what's going on in the news, man. God. And I need some scripture to go along with that because that's a problem with a lot of you Israelites. You know, you so focused on now instead of the times to come. You know, you you so focused on trying to you know get your get your life right and get everything together on this side, not knowing shit gonna get way worse on this side. All right, you know it's not gonna get better. Babylon the Great is done. Put a fork in. It's, it's going done. down the toilet, man. You know, it's like from twenty twenty five to twenty thirty. Listen, I'm I'm telling y'all right now. All these stories you see, all of this shit's going to be gone, man. Cause Elon Musk told you that we. He said Elon Musk said in an interview. At, in, in a friend's meeting, this was a secret meeting. This came out of his own mouth. He said that pe people aren't going to have jobs very soon. He said they're going to get rid of. He said humans won't have no jobs. This came out of his own mouth, man. He said he said computers and robots are smarter than they're better than humans, and they're smarter than humans. And he said, what's the point of? He said, what's the point of human life? And what's the point of having humans? You have these robots to replace you, and, these, and, and this computer and this technology to replace you, man. Because that, that's what's coming very soon, man. You people are gonna have to make a decision, man. Okay, y'all sure. gonna either serve your how about Shem or you're gonna end up taking that karagma and serve Satan and Esau Edom, man. Sure. Okay, because that's what he wants to do. He wants to turn you people into robots, man. Okay, artificial intelligence, man. Now, now look at what they got. Now they got self-driving cars. They, they said in Phoenix, brother, they, they got self-driving cars now. Now they're in, in, in the uh, in the Ford industry out there in Detroit. They, they're working on creating more self-driving cars to where humans don't even need to drive. You don't even need to drive your car anymore. Now they got this electric, you know, this these electric cars. They want you to own nothing and be happy, man. That, that, that's the motto, man. Own nothing, be happy, man. And then this devilish New World Order Great Reset, man. Yep. Because that's what's getting ready to happen for you, you so-called Americans very soon, man. This this Agenda 2025, the Agenda 20, 2030, it's going to be some real hell, man. See, y'all think y'all have it now, man, with this inflation and stuff, man. Just wait till Esau rolls out the, his, 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 uh, this Black Swan event that's getting ready to come, man. God. And th this is, uh, where was I? It was verse five. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, no, verse six. How ye for the day of the Most High is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt. And they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Most High cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desol desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. God. So this, this is what's getting ready to come. You know, it's going to come a time where it's like, a lot of people think the day of the Lord is going to be like something that's, you know, all peaches and cream. You know, the scriptures say the day of the Lord is going to be darkness and not light. That's uh, Amos chapter 9, I believe, right? No, it's Amos chapter 5, I think. Let me see if I can get that. Just for edification purposes. These are the times that we're coming into. So, back here. Con, you see, man, if you people, man, y'all don't come back to the Heavenly Father, man. And acknowledge who you are, man, and realize what's going on, man. And stick to these scriptures, man. The Heavenly Father is going to put you to death, man. It's no other nice way of telling you, man. Uh, We're telling you in the nicest way, man. You know, get right with the Heavenly Father, because he's pissed, man. Okay, all this wickedness that's going on, man. Yeah. You got the alphabetism. You know, people uh, practicing 
you know, witchcraft and Satanism, right? The Heavenly Father is tired of all that bullshit, man. Yeah. Okay? And you people don't don't want to come back to your heritage, but y'all would rather be in some bugged out shit like the damn conscious community. Talking about some damn, I came from the, the 14th, the, the, the 14th planet or or, or, or or whatever bugged out, or y'all would rather be Muslims, y'all rather be Buddhists and Hindus, man. But y'all don't want to come back to the Heavenly Father, man. Because that's all you got to do, man, is come back to the Heavenly Father, man. Man, fuck all them damn other gods, man. Because, hey, the Heavenly Father, he's a jealous power, man. But see, if you people stay in those religions, you stay in all these garbage philosophies he saw me feeding you, the Lord is going to kill you, man. He, he's just going to get rid of you, man. Yep. There's no other, other nice way of saying it, man. Yep. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 18, going along with what the brother brought out a few minutes ago. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. So it's not going to be a, a pretty time out here. Nope, you know, not at all. That's why the scripture just said when uh, in Isaiah chapter 13, the day of the Lord is going to come cruel. Cool. It's going to be a very cruel cool time. Fierce wrath and yeah. anger. Fierce wrath and anger. And you people are going to be shocked in that day. Yep. Done. See, when that time comes, y'all going to want to call on the Heavenly Father. But that ain't going to work, man. Y'all going to try to come to the brothers and say, oh, y'all going to try to say Jesus. And then they're going to try and say, oh, what was the name they said? Oh, they said, yeah, that, that ain't going to work, man. God, man it's not that is work. not going to work, man. Yeah, that's why the scripture says, seek the Lord while you may be found. And right now, still, it, you still have time to seek him because this word is still going out. You know, but very soon this word, you know, it, this whole ministry is going to be shut down. You're not going to be able to have access to it no more. Uh, because the elder Menachtezak, he put out the video. Now the uh, UN uh, Secretary General Gutierrez, he said, now it's time to uh, shut down um, the platforms that aren't that that are talking basic that aren't talking according to us. That's yeah, what social media. Yeah, they said mainstream news. Mainstream yeah. news, man. So you people, man, that famine of the word is coming, man. So if you don't get this word while you can, you you done for, man. Okay, and the heavenly Father is going to judge you because He already got His people a separate man of who He wants to put the who who He has reserved for death. Who he has reserved, you know, c c to be of his elect. God, the Lord yeah, God. So, could the scriptures just say that the elect has already been predestined since the, the beginning? So, if the elect has already been predestined, those that are, that's not of the elect has already been predestined for destruction as well. You know? So, uh, let me finish on this right quick. Oh, God, God, God. God. Yeah, so this verse 19, it says, uh, it says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house. And leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent met or bit him. Verse 20, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark, and no brightness in it. And that's how the times that we're coming into finna be. You know, you might escape one thing, and then right after you escape that, you know, you gotta deal with this now. And then after you escape that, then boom, you go, you might run into a snake. You know, you like the scripture said, you might put your hand on the wall and a, and a serpent might bite you. You know, so it's gonna be one thing after another. It's not gonna be a pretty Time. The day of the Lord is going to be very cool and with his fierce anger. You know, so yeah, you go back to uh, Isaiah. Huh. And, uh, verse 10. For, yeah, for the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Yeah, of Ophir. Ophir. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, therefore, yeah, yeah. Kind of, you could, we could elaborate on that too. Man. I'm pretty sure most of you brothers and sisters know what that's going into. You know, but in that day, you know, the Lord, he's going to make, and I'm not talking about just any old man, it's somebody, it's like man, yeah, man of the Lord. Exactly, kind of. So, because in that day, you know, when all hell is breaking loose, you know, it's going to be a shortage of men. You know, that's going to Isaiah chapter uh, uh, 14, no, 16, where it talks about, you know, uh, men are going to be drafted into war. Yep, you or, know, or in uh, Ezra's, I think it's, was it First Ezra's, the 15th chapter? Or was it, because it, it, it talked about how they're, uh, how, the, you know, women's um, husbands are going to be, put, they're going to be killed, but they're going to be, as like, uh, it's, it's like, uh, you know, scared in that day. 
Kind of, you can find it, you know. Uh, oh yeah, I can yeah, find yeah. it. It's a lot. Yeah, I, I can get that out. Yeah, kind of. No, I'm gonna bring this one out. Second nature, chapter uh, 16, right quick. Because it, this, that's why it says a, a man is gonna be uh, more precious than fine gold. Because it's gonna be a shortage of men, all right? You know, it's gonna be, uh, you're not gonna be able to just walk, you ain't, you ain't gonna be able to find maybe, a man in the Lord. Maybe right it was 16. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. It's in the second edge, chapter 16 and verse 32. It says, The earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old, and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel there through. Verse 33. And it says, the virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms. Yep, that the was women it. shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. Why? Verse 34. It says, in the, in the, in the wars yep, shall their bridegrooms it. be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. All right. So that's why, you know, a man is going to be made more precious than fine gold. Because, you know, it's going to be rare to come across, you know, a, a, a man of the Lord in that day. You know, you know, that's why we go into Isaiah chapter 4 and verse 1. You know, it talks about how seven women shall take hold to one man. You know, because it's going to be a lack of men out there. And the only man that's going to be still standing that day is the man of the Lord. The man that the, that the Lord is dealing with. You know, so yeah, going back to, uh, yeah, you go back to Isaiah chapter 13. Right. It's uh, verse uh, thir 13. Therefore will I shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts. And in the day of his fierce anger, and it shall be as the chaff roll, and as a sheep that no man taketh up, it shall every man turn to his own people, and flee every one into his own land. Every one that is found shall be thrust the, uh, through, and every one that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravaged. Come on. Well, yeah, you go into that as well. You know, uh, you know, we uh this is a this really is a wake up call to a lot of you women out there. You know, this is what the future holds for a lot of you women that wanna continue to hold on to the ideologies of Babylon the Great. Yep, you know, yeah, you don't need a man. Yeah, you wanna be independent. They got a lot of these sleeper cells coming. Because no, exactly. at the end of it, we're not saying this as a threat. No. You know, we want this to happen. This is going to happen. Yeah, we're just giving you the reality of things. Because they told you in the movies, like the purge. No. And they got a lot of these sleeper cells waiting to come after you. They ain't just going to come after you women. They're going to come after you two-third niggas, Pookie and Ray Ray's too. Man. No. But no. it's but mainly, they're going to come after you women no. that, that took yeah. on the ways of Babylon. Yeah, they want to walk around being proud. You know, a lot of you women that, you know, uh, they just, like like I said, just want to cleave onto the ways of Babylon the Great. You know, you don't, you don't need a man. You know, you uh, you know, you want to put your career first and, you know, put the bag first and this, yeah, that, and another. Man. You know, just want to be haughty as hell. Kai, we're going to go into how the Heavenly Father, he's going to get rid of that money. He's going to get rid of all of it. Yep. Yep. All of that's going to be done away with. Kind. But yeah, this is, this is the future for those type of women. And like the brother said, we ain't just sitting out here just, you know, uh, wishing like oh yeah we hope this happened we just give you the hardcore reality of what what's getting ready to happen because even now you know a lot of these sleeper cells have already came over here and they already doing these type of things to particular women you know you had uh not not long ago you know uh it was two uh so-called illegal immigrants they got hold of a of a 12 year old little girl they pretty much did what they did to her and then killed her and then not long after that you know before that actually over in california i believe you know, it was uh, this uh, so-called illegal immigrant dude. Yep. You know, he had a pretty much a, a van, yep. and it was called the, the the Great Dungeon. I put it that way. Uh -huh. You know, it's, it's called the Great Dungeon on Wheels, and he's pretty much pulling up on uh, different women and all that, capturing them. You know, and then next thing you know, he did what he did to him. You know, you get you get what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to word it in a way that YouTube won't take the video down. Come. But th this is just what's getting ready to happen in the new near future. You're already having this type of stuff taking place in a society where the laws are still in effect. So how much more in a lawless society where you ain't gonna have police to come and protect you, yep. nor save you, all right? This is they've the reality. They've been saying that already. They've been saying that they're not gonna, 911 won't be able to help you anymore. And they've been saying that, you know, so-called 911, so-called these polices aren't gonna be able to help you, man. And yep. in, in, in that day, man, it's gonna be, you know, every man for himself, man. Literally. Okay. You know, and I believe they are. I believe they are already trying to practice something and prepare for that because over the like recent months, 
you know, you've been having situations where cell phone uh, businesses, they, yep. they, they've been having cell phone yep. outages. I've been hearing about you know, that. You, you have situations where people will be trying to call 911, they can't reach them. Yep. You know, they, they're preparing for something. And they just know this is, this is ultimately what's getting ready to happen. And it's going to be an all-out purge. Yeah, man. it's going to be an all-out purge. And it's going to be cause nationwide. Because it's, it's states like, uh, you know, Chicago, they've been already saying that they're going to let the, uh, you know, the people out of prison as well, too, man. Uh -huh. You know, them people at a print, they, they, they even gonna use them, man. Yep. So when that time comes, man, and I really believe it's gonna come when that, you know, that, that B flu rolls out, man. I believe it, man. Cause some, it's but gonna be some type of black swan event. It's gonna definitely Something. be be a big event, man. God. And you know, Lord's will is 2024, 2025. Cause I really believe, brothers and sisters, that it's gonna be the year of that, of that demic again. Uh, it's, it's something gonna happen. Something either, is gonna. It's happen. gonna be a, either another demic or it's gonna be the the dollar collapse or economic collapse. Cause you still got that going on. You know, you have uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, situation. The yep, kind. You know, Saudi Arabia they didn't re renew that petro dollar agreement. You know, so hey, the dollar is pretty much through. Eventually, this dollar is gonna collapse, and everybody gonna realize that dollar they was chasing wasn't worth a damn. Yep. <laughs> and they just <laughs> they gonna, gonna find it. out real soon. Right. Cause that's yeah. that's what mainly majority of these Americans are trusting in so called money. Kind of. That's that's what got the you know they that's what got their life and everything. Yeah, got their head. Now I feel now if they was to get rid of the dollar, they would lose their minds. Kind of. They you know they their would mind. be you know they would be going uh, crazy, man. Yep. Because Jake and me, these, I mean, these my, these people in America, they can't do nothing without money. Man. Uh -huh. They feel like money is they their whole life, man. The money is the whole reason why a lot of people are proud, you know. And the Lord said He's gonna take that proud spirit, that haughty spirit, out of this place, you know. So in that day, ain't nobody gonna be able to flex or talk about, oh, I got this, I got that. Ain't nobody gonna be able to do that. You know this dumbass nigga Anton Daniels. Yep. Talking about oh, I'm rich and you know nigga, come on. And the Heavenly Father gonna take your riches away, Anton. He gonna uh -huh. take all that shit away. We're going to see what you do on that day, man, when the Heavenly Father takes all of that, man. Uh -huh. And the Lord going to put your ass together, nigga, man, for, 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 for uh, mocking the prophets, man. And he's still talking shit to the prophets, man. I don't I don't even think he, he even he cares about it. He, he doesn't even care, man, or, or even acknowledging what he's doing. I think the Heavenly Father is just setting it up for him. To just The Lord is just, uh, he's getting them set up for uh, uh, a very painful, brutal, yeah. To make an example, uh, to make, make an, an example, example out of to a lot of these, uh, to these a lot of these other scars. He, pro he probably gonna do him worse than Ricky Harris. Yeah, because yeah. the Lord he could do that. He could put this, put the spirit on this guy mm -hmm. to pretty much do what he's doing, just to pretty much bring him down and put him to death in the worst way. Just the uh, rest of these scars out here could fear. You know that, that's how that's how we gonna call the Lord to be. You know. Huh. Was, uh, I think I was sick. Yeah. Every uh, no, no, verse six, yeah, yeah. I think you said verse, verse 17. Uh, yeah, I think I was 17. yeah, verse 17. Behold, I will stir up the Met Medes, Medes, Medes yeah. against them which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bowls also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare the spare children. At Babylon, the glory of kingdoms. The beauty of the child, the child, these excellency shall be as when the most high overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And as you people, y'all people know that the heavenly father burnt, uh, he burnt up and killed everybody in Sodom and Gomorrah. He only saved Lot, he only saved Lot, Lot and his, um, and his children, man. Uh, his, and just remember, don't be like Lot's wife, man. Yeah, Cause, look cause she looked back, man. Okay. The angels told Lot, you know, in the family, what? What he was going to do, man, and that lets you know the heavenly Father only saved very few people out of out of there, man, because they were being wicked, man. Okay, because he because Lot was vexed with the conversation of these moles talking about some uh, all this just just straight up throughness, man. Kinda, you know, you had the the men back in Sodom and Gomorrah. They was literally trying to lay down with the angels. Yep. You know that that's how bad it was, and when you think about it, America is far worse than it was. Back yep. inside of the Gamora, you, you got these damn people out here trying to lay with animals. Yep. You know, they're trying to damn have sex with cars. Yep. You know, now you, they to have sex with dogs. Yeah, dogs are. They that. call themselves yeah. uh, uh, non -gen binary gender gender fluid, all this garbage Kinda. that they yep. teaching your kids in school. You know, you got bestiality, like I mentioned. You got uh, 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 incest. 
you know, you got, you know, you got damn yep. uh, son and mother laying down with each other and all that. You yep. know, I've, I've heard a lot of situations like that. Going back to the yeah. uh, Nimrod and yeah. playing yeah. with his mama, decreeing yeah. that uh, pagan god Talmuds, yeah. that they worship in the Christian, in the Catholic churches nowadays. Kind of. And then, and then, and then on, and then on top, and then on top of that, they got these alphabet, these now they got these, you know, these drag. You know, t uh, teaching your kid, uh, uh, so, so called being your pastors now, man. Yeah. And see, that's how you know America is through, man. God. And see, Esau wants you to fo force you to accept that. Like at your job, you gotta, you gotta get forced to to accept being with this alphabet person, or you're gonna get canceled, man. Yep. <laughs> see, and, and see that that's the world we live in today, man. If you if you say one word about an alphabet person, you can get locked up. Yep. You get locked up just for, just for talking about that. For for a, for a grown ass dude that want to change his his sex and go into a woman's bathroom with your with your little daughter, you would be you would be considered terrible for um, saying that's a bad thing. Cause cause I, they just put out in um, in the so called Olympics they said a trans uh, this it's a trans track Olympic runner qualified qualified for the Olympics. Done. That's how you know this place is through, through. Man. Done. And that's exactly why America is about to, like we just read in Isaiah chapter 13. It's going to be the same way as it was back in Sodom and Gomorrah. But as you just heard, it says the Lord, he's going to raise up the Medes against Babylon. The Medes is dealing with Russia. Done. You know, we see what's going on with Russia and America right now. Putin is making all these different threats, saying that America is a, uh, is a is enemy. You know, saying that he, uh, he'll pretty much destroy America, this, that, and another. Done. So this is prophecy. Eventually, this is going to happen. But, you know, we still got things that got to come to pass first. The market of bees, yep. Jacob's trouble. Yep, that you know, got to happen. Yeah, that, that's got to happen. But once that happens, then, then yeah, it's, gonna, it's game then over. The Heavenly Father going to bring his son, the angels. He going to do away with this place, man. Uh -huh. This place is done. It's out of there. Uh -huh. So you want me to, uh, I'm done with 13. So yeah, you got uh, 14. Yeah. Top. Yeah, uh, let, me, okay. let me make sure you got everything on okay. 13 right quick. Matter of fact, you can just go ahead and finish it out. Oh, baby. you want to? Okay, okay. Yeah. Matter of fact, no, no, no. no. I, I did miss something. It shall be never be yeah. inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pinch the tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. So see, the hep when, when it's all said and done, this place is not going to be remembered no more, man. The Lord is going to do away with America when this place gets burned. You're not going to remember all this money, all these celebrities. You're not going to remember all of that. Got You're not going to remember all these athletes, politicians, how much money you had, uh, um, what, ce what, what celebrity and all the, the famous people. That's all. You're not going to remember that, man. And that's all. It's, it's not even going to come to a thought in mind, man. God. Okay. It's going to be like this place never existed. Like, like you ain't going to ever see it again, man. Kind of, like you know the Statue of Liberty that you see, you gonna ain't gonna gone. see that. Again. The Washington Monument gone. You know the the the, damn, uh, the, 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 the White the House, Washington yeah. obelisk. Yeah, the obelisk. Yo, Come. yo, White House. The all that is gonna be gone. You ain't gonna be able to be like, oh, hold on, wait. This was a uh, this this was New York. All you this Egyptian yeah. Babylonian stuff that they be having. Oh, that's gonna be gone. Yeah, you ain't gonna be able to tell what was what no more. You ain't gonna be able to look and be like, oh, that was St. Louis. Oh no, that that, that was that California. Was, that was Chicago, yeah. Los Angeles. Man, that was, uh, it's just gonna be a big wasteland. You know, everything is gonna, gonna be desolate. Yeah, kind. It's you know? gonna turn into dust, man. Yep. Because because dust it goes away quickly. Poof. Right, gonna That's be, what's gonna happen to America. Yeah, everything's gonna be disintegrated. You know, the like, Lord is going to burn this place up, man. Yep. Through through fire, man. Just like it, He told you what He's going to do in America. He told you that's what he like he did with Sodom and Gomorrah. That's what he's finna do here in America, man. Right. Because this place is way worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. This place is way worse than the times of Noah. These people out here are worse than during the times of Noah, man. You can't even talk to these people, man. Right. They, they don't even want to hear the scriptures, man. Nope. They don't got no morals, no value, or yep. no, you know, boundaries. Yep. They got that do as thou will, that Aleister Crowley bullshit that they be promoting, that these Satanists be promoting to these people, man. That's their mindset. Do as thou will. Do what yeah. you want. If as long as it goes against the most high, do as do what you want. That's the mindset these people are in, man. Yep. And see, that's why the Heavenly Father's got to do away with this place, man. Come. So, and uh, I'm gonna get this right quick, then you can finish out 13, Come. and then jump to 14. 
Gotcha. So, uh, this is uh, Jude chapter 1 and verse 7. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's and it says, Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving, giving themselves over to fornication, going after strange flesh, is, or set forth for an example, suffering the uh, vengeance of eternal fire. All right. So, uh, Babylon, so uh, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah is literally is, is, uh, an example for those that want to continue to go down the same path that ancient Babylon, Osalakia, ancient Sodom and Gomorrah went down. Come. You know, being an uh, alphabet person, you know, going after strange flesh. Yep. You know, me, all me, types me, of forty. Yeah, exactly. And, 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 and raping and molesting little um, little kids. Come. Because that's what they uh, that's what they teach in the Talmud, uh, yep. in their book in the Talmud. You know, you know the you know you know the you know the you know what's them them Kabbalah, them Kabbalah people. Yeah. But they they were teaching the Talmud to rape little boys, man. And, and, and that's what they promote here in Babylon, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, you had Nambla and all of them, man. That's why the Heavenly Father is going to burn this place, man. Huh. And the sad part is people accept this shit. That's the sad part. Yep. People accept little boys getting raped and molested. Nobody says a word, nobody, nobody, you know, no, nobody goes after that person. They just lay back and just let it happen. Like, like, like it's good, man. Uh, <laughs> yep. You see that that's why you man, you people are yo, that's why you people are through out here, man. Hell through. Uh, so yeah, you go ahead and uh finish out okay. chapter thirteen and it is jump you know, fourteen. Yeah. I got you. Uh, verse twenty one. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and satire shall dance there, and the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses and dragons in their pleasant palaces and her time is near to come and her days shall not be prolonged kind of so the uh, the, t the time is near for babylon the great is, is uh, to be destroyed is near and her days will not be prolonged you know america is not prolonging the days of, of america babylon the great that's why things are going so fast that's why the days seem like it's being shortened you time know, is getting yeah. short like the brother said yeah literally <laughs> You know, you 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 it literally be Monday. The next thing you know, you, you blink your eyes and it's Sunday. Yep. You know, <laughs> it, 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 it literally, that's how it is because the it'll feel like like it'll feel like it's been a week, but it'll be four weeks kind or of. a whole month. Yeah, literally. You know, we when you think about it, what what's uh, it's, uh we in June now? Kind of. You know, it, we, like like uh Nate, it's June. Like yeah, ain't no, we, ain't no, yeah, but, ain't yeah. No shit. Kind of. You know, we in June now. It's like saying like we just came into. Uh, this uh, 2024 not long ago. Huh. You know, but it's here, about to be 2025. Yeah. Just, just like just that. like that, time is speeding up. The Heavenly Father is making things going quick, man, so He can bring the kingdom of heaven here, man, so God. He can do away with this place, man. Because that's what we're looking forward to, man. The elect, man. We're looking forward to the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, and the Lord is going to make us, you know, it's, it's fine gold in that day, man. Yeah. He's going to raise His men up, man. Because remember, the last shall be. Remember, the last shall be first, and the first shall be last, man. God. Okay? And that's you know, we, talking. We, we had to be made last right now because of all of our disobedience God. and whatnot, but now that time is over. You know, it's about to be over very soon, and the Lord. We yeah. had to serve our captivity, yeah. and now it's time for Esau and these heathens to serve their captivity, man. And all these damn elites and these devils, man, for what they did to us, man. Yep. All right. So, so uh, yeah, I want to get that scripture to go along with the time, oh, how time is going fast. Right oh, come, come, come. So this is Matthew chapter 24. And uh, we'll start at verse 21. And it says, uh, for then shall be great tribulation, such as not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. All right. That's yep. going into Jacob's trouble. You know, yep. that just shows you how the, the Bible, you know, it doesn't contradict itself. It's saying the same thing that I was talking about in Jeremiah chapter 30. Oh, yeah, I was seven. just going to get there. Kind of, Fact, yep. back as far as that kind of, said. Yeah, you might as well get it. I got you. This uh Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall, yeah, but he shall be saved out of it. For, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, so yeah, that, that's pretty much just that. You know, but yeah, saying the same thing that we uh, read about in just now in um, Matthew chapter 24 and verse uh, 21. There's going to be great tribulation like the world has never seen before. All right. But the point I want to get is in verse 22. This is why, you know, time is going by so fast. 
it says, and except those days should be shortened, there shall be no there shall should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Yep, see that for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened, man. God. That's why the heavenly Father is speeding things up for our sake, man. Yep. Okay, because he understands that we're crying to him and we're like, Lord, we want to be delivered out of you. We're tired of all this wickedness that we got to go through every day. We, not only just these two thirds, you know, whether it's your, you know, whether it's your own, some of your family, not not all of them, but some of them. Then you got to deal with, you, you, then you got to deal with your, with the with the old people that that you that you used to, that you was cool with, and now they going up against you. Then you got to put up with Esau. You got to put up with the cops. You got to put up with all this. Man, then you gotta right. deal with the secret societies, <laughs> and it's like, man, we, we, and then the alphabet people. Right. So then it's like, we, 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 Lord, we, Lord, we need out. We need right. out of this place, Lord, and that's what we're saying every day, man. Yep. So the heavenly Father is speeding things up, man. Okay, for our sake, man. For you, for you, for you, for the one hundred forty-four thousand, for you men, women, and children, man. Okay, that the heavenly Father called, man, to be in this truth, man. Okay. But it's like the brother said, it's going to be a time of trouble like never before, man. Okay? You see, when Esau rolls out, because either when he rolls out the black swan of it, whether he gets rid of the dollar or rolls out this pandemic, he's not he's not going to do like he did in 2019 and 2020. He's going to make it more difficult, man. That, like like, when, like going back to when we was talking about the what Elon Musk is trying to do. Because he, he already got his neural link. He's letting you know he wants to put that brain chips uh, drill drill uh, your skull in half yep. put the chip in you because he, he's letting you know man who he's a part of man but also it's going to be a time man where they're going to have 15 minute cities you're not going to be able to travel anywhere man okay the military they're going to be watching and that's what them 15 minute cities is all about man shoot they they might even do to a point that's where that's why they got the credit score shoot they might even put an ankle monitor on you man this devil uh, from the from from one of the elites, you know, was saying that we're gonna track people's uh, carbon footprint of what they do, where they where they go, what they watch, what they eat. And th 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 that's what's going to be this carbon footprint tracker, man. Okay, that's what Esau is going to do to you people. See, when he locks down, man, y'all gotta realize, man, what he, what he's about to do, man. Not only is he gonna roll out the you know what. That's been that's been killing folks, but he's also gonna roll out that karagma too, man. And he and he gonna have you stuck in your home, man, to the point where you you ain't gonna be able to go nowhere. And right. if you try to escape, man, he gonna put he gonna he gonna beat you to death, man. And he gonna cause he, cause it, it's up to him cause he gonna either he gonna either beat you to death or he gonna kill you, man. Right. You know, and this is a scripture that I want to bring out. You know, kind of going back to. What we were just talking about a few minutes ago, dealing with time being uh, cut short, because ultimately, you know, uh, we've been in captivity for a very long time, but now we're at the point where the Lord He hears the cries of the elect and whatnot, you know, crying out to Him, you know, day in and day out, you know, and the Lord hears that. And the same thing happened back then during the, the, the first Exodus and whatnot, you know, when we was in Egypt, you know, under the Egyptians and whatnot, you know, uh, you had Israel crying out, you know, for the oppression. So the same thing is getting ready to happen this time. This is Exodus chapter 3 and verse 9. It says, Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. All right? And this time right now, we're in spiritual Egypt. So who are the spiritual Egyptians? Esau, Edom. You know, they're the, they, they're the spiritual Egyptians because they're the ones ruling over spiritual Egypt. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the same thing that was happening back then, you know, in uh, ancient Egypt, you know, it's, it's happening right now. You know, the, the Lord, he heard the, the Israelites crying out back then. You know, right now, the Lord hears the elect of the Israelites crying out. So the Lord, he's speeding up the times and he's about to bring, you know, uh, uh, plagues upon his place like before. Like it said in uh, Second Edge chapter 15, I believe. You know, what the Lord said, he's going to bring plagues upon Egypt as before, you know. Let me see if I can find that right quick. It is the second address, chapter uh, 15 and verse uh, 8. And it says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves 
Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the unjust complain continually. So like the souls of the just complain continually, all right? So like I said, you know, the Israelites were crying out to the Lord back then in ancient Egypt. So right now you have the souls of the just, you know, uh, you know the innocent and righteous blood is crying out to Yahweh Bashem El Shai. So the Lord, he hears that. He's not going to hold his tongue no more, like we just read. Verse 9. And it says, And therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Verse uh, 10. It says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. And this is not talking about ancient Egypt. It's talking about modern day Egypt. Spiritual Egypt, which is America. America. All right, and you can see that this place is America. Yep. You can see my people have been yeah. led to. A, wait, read that again. So like, kind. It says, uh, "Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt." Yep, you see that my, my people have been led to the flock of a slaughter, man. <laughs> that, man, that 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 scripture is a depiction of these people, man. I mean, what did these people do, man? Especially going on in the in the camps too, man. You know, them other camps like, you know, Bishop Nate Daniel. Tell, what did they say, you know, during back during the time of the, uh, what, did, what did they say? To take that certain, you know what? And they, and they, and they told their, their flock, the sheep, to do it. And then the, they would listen to them instead of trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah in the Bible. They trust in man, man. Right. And they want to trust in these presidents. They told them to, to, to go take it. And then they ended up dropping dead. And the thing is, nobody speaks about these things. Nobody talks about it. They just brush it under the rug like nothing happened. All these people that are dying unexpectedly, all these cardiac arrests in young people. Then uh, Larry Allen just died. He was uh, 51 years old. He was the strongest NFL player, man. Died unexpectedly, man. And nobody is talking about it, man. Yep. But see, but why? Because y'all been led to the slaughter, man. See, Esau... Or devils like Kill Gates and Fauci, they told y'all that that certain something was safe and effective, and you people believed it. And then you people ended up going to the CVSs, the instant, the, the 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 institutions, the H institutions. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And y'all took the stuff, man. And then it went, and then when y'all ended up dead, man. The, hey, man, that that's the heavenly Father telling y'all, man. Y'all are being led to the slaughter, man. <laughs> Really? Completely, man. Your name. And you people, y'all don't have no faith in the heavenly Father, man. We've been we've been telling you not to do these things, but you did the opposite, man. We told you not to take the the stuff, but you did it anyway. Man. Yeah, you called this crazy conspiracy. Now look, now look at what's happening, man. Yeah. Now they don't want you to know all these people are dying unexpectedly. They don't want you to know that a forty-two year old uh, lady from Huntsville. Uh, um, she was from the uh, the the the, the hip hop, uh, the the love hip hop. She died unexpectedly, man. See what I'm saying? See, see our people, they've been led to the slaughter, man, uh, to death yeah, and destruction, and, man. And not just in that aspect, but just in general, because everything here in America is set up for the destruction of your Israelites. You know, all the way from the food, all the way from you know the different ideologies. You know, the music that you listen to. Uh, you know, death music, which is rap music. You know, so on and so forth. Everything just set up to you be to to be led to the slaughter. Huh. So we're in a time right now. Where the Lord, he's 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 uh no longer gonna allow that to happen. You know, he's gonna deliver he's the elect to, out of his place. He's huh. gonna expose these people for what they really do, man. Kind. So this is a verse. Um. Verse uh, eleven, and it says, "But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt." With plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. You know, so that's what's going to happen. You know, uh, the Lord is going to bring yeah. plagues on America. Yep, yeah. because this place is spiritual Egypt. You know, is uh, you know, the, when we read Revelation chapter eleven, it talks about how you know this place is a uh, spiritual Sodom and Egypt. Uh -huh. You know, you, you it's not it's not a uh, you don't have to wonder why this place is spiritual Sodom. That goes without saying. And then when you look at this place, a lot, this place takes on a lot of customs that ancient Egypt took on. You know, a different, a lot of ideologies. You know, a, a, you know, you look at the different religions. monuments. Yeah, the religions. You know, you see a lot of the different monuments uh, around. You know, you look at the back of the dollar. You see the pyramid. The, 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 the eye on your dollar. Right. You know, you, you see all these yeah. secret societies like the Shriner. They got that, you know, cutting on your head off. Yo. And then of course y'all know about the Kabbalah. We know that's the small, but Salaki. We know that's the you know who's religion. 
but but it goes on because that's how America got its power, man. Okay. It, you know, through the and, and and I was gonna get into that later, yeah. but but hey, but hey, like the brother said, man, the Heavenly Father, He's going to bring plagues upon this place, man. Yep, as before, you know, and the, the same way the plagues was brought upon ancient Egypt, you know, it's gonna be brought upon this place too. But the plagues gonna be far worse, you know. So, uh, verse. I mean, I believe I was there verse. So. Was it 12? Yeah, verse 12. It says, Egypt shall mourn, the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh Shemel Shah shall bring upon it. All right? Verse uh, 13 it says, They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting and hell and with fearful constellation. Woe to the world and, to, and them that dwell therein. All right? Verse 15, For the sword and their destruction draw nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. All right, so pretty much, you know, this is going on to another topic and whatnot. So, but the whole point of me bringing this out was just to show you that, you know, we was crying out in ancient Egypt. You know, the Lord heard our uh, uh, cries and whatnot. He brought plagues upon this place and delivered us. Same thing for to happen this time. You know, but except, yeah, exactly. But except, you know, uh, all of Israel is not going to be delivered out of this place. All right, only the elect. Huh. Two thirds of our people, they're going to perish because... You know, their focus was on other things. You know, they didn't want to, yeah, bullshit. they don't bullshit. It's just they didn't want to take heed to the word. You know, they put they, you know, they, they put their trust in Egypt, you know, so on and so forth. You know, so a lot of different things, a lot of different reasons is going to be the reason why two thirds of our people is going to get destroyed. And only the elect is going to be delivered out of the spiritual Egypt. And I got some. God. This is Second Ezra 6 and 22, because I want to bring up this point real quick. No. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown before storehouses shall be suddenly be found empty, and the trumpet shall give a sound which where when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid, man. So as you can see, man, that's what's happening right now, man. See. It was a news article that said that 14,000 stores are going bankrupt and they're going to completely close for good, man. They said big, a uh, big lots is one of those uh, 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 store. See what I believe, man. You know, through the spirit and power, all about shimmy, all shot. They're gonna close down all these businesses and stores and and restaurants and malls. So that way, when they roll out the pandemic, ain't gonna be nothing. And then like we like me and the brother was saying, man, y'all gonna have to make a choice, man. Here you come we're gonna have to serve the Heavenly Father, or you're gonna have to taste the CHIP, because I believe they're gonna come. close all this stuff down. And then they're gonna get rid of the dollar up there. They're gonna yeah, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. know they you know they're watching this. And and can, can see the, the, the police, they they know that this is how you know we telling the truth, man. These, these devils, they watching us 24-7, man. This what's this? This is fourth time doing this. Yeah, third or fourth time. Man, come on, man. Uh, he ain't he ain't got nothing else better to do. Nah, he's stopping. He's gonna double back. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, Salaki, but, but yeah, back to uh, what I was saying. But see the heavenly father, man, he's going to shut down all these uh businesses, man. And he's going to get, do away with the dollar, man. And you people, man, y'all gonna be in mourning, man. Y'all gonna be upset. Y'all gonna be like, damn, what happened to all my what happened to all my money? What happened to all the the the, the, the food and stuff? Cause see, y'all didn't want to trust in the heavenly father, man. Y'all wanted to trust Esau either, man. And y'all want y'all still wanna dwell here in America, man. So when they so when they, so when they get rid of all this, when they get rid of all the all your goodies, man, when they get rid of, you know, your water, your food, that's when shit is going to get real, man. Okay, and especially when they roll out that that dimmit, man, because I really do believe 2025 gonna be that year, man. I believe, but and 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 that's and that's all I wanted to to make on that one. Kind. And I got uh, Isaiah 14. Yeah, kind. Yeah, we wanna get Isaiah 14 now because uh, like we stated, like I stated earlier, you know, uh, it's like it's pretty much when you from Isaiah chapter 13 to 14, it shows you the order of how things are gonna take place. You know, America, Babylon the Great being destroyed, which was stated in uh, Isaiah chapter 13. You know, then when you, you're right directly after that, when you read Isaiah chapter 14, you know, it talks about how the the, the, the elect of the Israelites are going to be placed back in their land. All right. You know, and placed back on high. And then the Israelites are going to be pretty much ruling over the heathens. You know, it, it's a it's a it's an order. And it's it's, it's just it's kind of amazing when you read it. You know, so you, you go ahead and read huh. it. Start at the top. Yeah, it's okay, right. I got you. It's Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. 
For the Most High will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own lands, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and the people shall take them and bring them to their places, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Most High for the service and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Kind. So yeah, that's what's gonna happen. And like I said, this is directly after Isaiah chapter 13, where it talks about, you know, America, Babylon the Great being destroyed, how uh, the Lord's going to uh, have the Medes rise up against Babylon, you know, so on and so forth. So this is right directly after that. So after America, Babylon the Great is destroyed, the Lord, he's going to choose uh, Jacob and Israel and place them back in their land. And the, the uh, Jacob is going to be ruling over his oppressors. You know, this is what's getting ready to happen. You know, things about to get set back in his rightful order. All right, we're no longer going to be the, the tail and uh, these other nations being ahead. All right, things about to get placed back in this order. All right. Come. And uh, it shall come to pass in that day, the Most High shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressor seized the golden city seized? The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote, smote the people in wrath with the continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Ye the, the, ye the fir trees re rejoice at thee and the, the cedars of Lebanon saying since thou art laid down no feller is come up against us and, uh, what verse you at? I'm at 9 kind of let me see I think that's pretty much that really okay yeah that's pretty much yeah. unless you had something else you want to bring out in that because the first three verses that was really the main point to show you like what's really how it's going to take kinda. place matter of fact no there is um, I'm going to jump down to verse 12 is that cool? Oh. All right. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which disweaken the nations? For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. So you see, so this is mainly talking about, now it's talking about Esau, Edom, but going into, you know, these, these spirits of the left hand side, man, because that's what, um, that's his main goal. He want to be like the most high, man. That's why when you see these, uh, these devils that call themselves, they want to call themselves gods. Like, for example, when when Jay Z and them, they like 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 Jay Z, like when, like when he called himself Jehovah, he was calling himself a, a god, because they think they're better than the the, the Most High man, because that's what that's what they want to do, man. Right. Okay, because that's no, we already know that ain't the true name. Right, that's yeah, but, not the true name, yeah. but 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 that's what they're trying to do, man, in, in, in this society, man. That 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 you you're better than God, and, and you could. It, cause it, cause it goes back to the to to when uh, the, the serpent told Eve to eat from that um the, the garden. You you'll be better than than God. You, you, you're because that's what they teach, man. That you are your own God. You're, you're better than the, the Most High, or, or or you are the the you are the Most High. That, that's the type of garbage that that they teach, man. But 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 see. That's what that's what the Antichrist is doing, man. They they want to do everything against the Most High, man. And they, they want to try and be like him, man. That's really what Antichrist is, man. They want to try and be like the Most High, man. But but they aren't, man. Yep. And the Heavenly Father, he gonna bring all of them down, man. He gonna bring all these celebrities down, all these damn New Agers. He, he gonna bring all that shit down, man. Right. Yep. And I got uh. So uh, I want to. I got some. Yeah, I just want to go back to uh, verse three. Oh, yeah, I want to jump back to verse oh, three. Verse right. Okay. Yeah. Isaiah yeah. 4, 14? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Salaki. Yeah, all right. 
This is Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 3. And it shall come to pass in that day, in, in the day that the Most High shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. Kind. And that go, kind of goes into uh, Isaiah, uh, the book of Revelation where it talks about how you know, uh, once we're delivered, Lord, we'll be at the elect. You know, it ain't gonna be no more tears, no more, no more sorrow, so on and so forth. You know, uh, let me see if I can get that in, uh, yeah, Revelation chapter 21. Cause that's what's gonna happen. Like the Lord, he's right, right now we, we don't have true rest. You know, it's, uh, you know, we're, we're not at rest. A lot of our people, they think they're at rest. But we're you not, know, but we're, we're catching hell every day. Huh. I mean, all the poisons Esau be putting in the sky. I mean, from the Tuskegee experiment when he was giving us, you know, the, you know, you, you know, all them the diseases. I'm not going because, you know, Esau. But, you know, they were giving, you know, from the Tuskegee experiment to the, uh, to the uh, AZT drug that they said was safe and effective, that, that dev, one devil Fauci was giving. And then putting all the uh, Agent Orange and all the chemtrails from Monsanto to, uh, uh, bear on down, man. Right. And then all the food is, is garbage. The po the uh, your water is is polluted. It, that's garbage. Yep. Um, your media is garbage. And everything here in Babylon is is garbage, man. Right. <clears throat> and that, that and that's why, man. And, and, and see, we we've been serving um, captivity under the white man, man. But see, the heavenly Father, man. He's going. See, he's doing it for his elect, man. We're going to be ruling. These damn devils, man. We're gonna be ruling our, our we're gonna rule our oppressor, man. Yeah. The so-called white man, so-called Arab man, so-called Chinese, Hamites, the, the so-called East Indians, we're gonna rule all of them, man. And they're going to be under us, man. Okay? Yeah. Yo, so this is Revelation chapter 21 and verse 1, and it says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. You know, and it's not talking about like a new planet Earth. You know, it's just talking about a new and refreshed Earth. All right, everything's gonna be, you know, uh, placed back in its night right order. You ain't gonna have no more chemtrails. You're not gonna have any more polluted food. You ain't gonna you know, have no more artificial intelligence. Yeah, kind of, all that yeah. robot garbage. Kind of, everything's gonna be natural once again. You know, every every breathe is gonna be fresh, fresh water. You know, no GMO foods and all that. You know, everything's gonna be right. When you read that word, uh. Uh, new in the in the blue letter, you know, the Greek word for that word new in that scripture is kainos, which means pretty much, you know, refreshed, you know, so letting you know that it's not talking about a little new earth and whatnot, right? Verse 2, and it says, And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Verse 3, And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, is with men. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and Yahweh Bashem Yahushai himself shall be with them and be their power. Verse 4, and it says, And Yahweh Bashem Yahushai shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, nor neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. All right, so all the, the hell that you're dealing with is going to be a thing of the past. Debt, that's gonna be a thing of the past. Sicknesses, that's gonna be a thing of the past. Whatever hell it is that you dealing with right now that's causing you to uh, feel some type of way, it's gonna be a thing of the past. What is that? It's probably a cricket or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of. But yeah, that's that's what's gonna happen. I want to bring that out because the scripture in Psalms 126 that talks about how when we're delivered, Lord, when we'll be in the elect, we go, it's gonna be like a dream because we just gonna think back to how bad things was, how stressed out we was, so on and so forth. And then we're just gonna be like those that dream. So this is Psalms 126 and verse uh, one. And uh, it says, a song of degrees. It says, when the Lord turned again, the captivity of Zion, Zion being another name for Israel. All right. It says, we were like them that dream. So when the Lord turns back the captivity, you know, we're gonna be like those that dream. We're gonna be like, dang, is this really happening? So I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gotta worry about these damn bills no more. Like, we ain't, I ain't got to worry about these sicknesses and stuff no more. I ain't got to worry about Esau owning everything and telling me what I kind, can yeah. and not what I can't do. Kind, just I got to be watching 41, 144. They call all y'all about Shimyosh. Kind, yeah, literally. 
You know, that's how it's gonna be. You know, we're gonna be like those that dream if we be of the elect. You know, we're gonna, you know, the Lord's gonna deliver the elect into the chariot. You know, you're gonna be changed in the twinkling of an eye. You're just gonna be, you're gonna be like that. So I ain't gotta worry about none of this no more. You know, I ain't gotta worry about, you know, this and that, that and this, whatever was stressing you out. You're gonna be like those that dream. Verse two, it says, then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord hath done great things for them. All right, so the heathen is gonna be looking like that. The Lord, he really dealing with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, look what he doing with the, you know, with these uh, Israelites. You know what I'm saying? You know, they 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 gonna, they gonna really see that the Lord is gonna deck out the children of Israel strong with the elect. You know, but the point is, is that, you know, tears and all that, crying, sorrow, death, it's gonna be a thing. Deal with none of that yeah. No yeah, after Babylon the Great is destroyed. This is why this place has to go. This is why Babylon the Great America has to be destroyed because, you know, until this place is destroyed, we're gonna have to continue dealing with the things that we're dealing with right now. You know what I'm saying? But once this place is destroyed, we're gonna be like those that dream, debt, the tears, sorrow, it's gonna be a thing of the past. Yeah, no more. God. I got something, brother. This is Isaiah chapter 47, and I'm gonna start at the first chapter. You see, this is I'm gonna show you how. America really got its power, you know, how it got its power, but the Heavenly Father, he's going to expose them. He's just going to completely do away with it because it ain't going to work, man, okay? Through, you know, through his witchcrafts and, it, it, and through his, you know, through through all this devilish stuff he be doing on the left, it ain't going to work, man. But this is Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne or daughter of the Chaldeans, for, th uh, th for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind, grind me meal, uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, ye, th ye thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Okay, so the Heavenly Father, he's making America a joke, man. And how can you prove it? I mean, look at the damn uh, shit show of a president debate. Look at Joe Biden. He can't even say a, he can't say one sentence. Like, <laughs> he can't even say one sentence, man. God. And and Trump and Trump is a clown too. That th them old geezer clowns. It, it, it's a shit show, man. But see that see the Heavenly, but and, and Joe Biden is supposed to be your so-called president being your so-called leader, but look at what the Heavenly Father is doing to that clown. And now it's coming to a point where now they want to say, now they want to put someone else in, 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 in the election for Joe Biden because he, he, he so, he so I mean, he's through, man. And then look at these so-called BET Awards. That was shit. That was a shit show. That, that was uh, all down the toilet. Don't nobody even watch that shit no more, man. And it's all, all of it is garbage. Now they got... You know, they try to, you know, sexy red and, you know, they try to, uh, what's it, uh, Tajara P. Henson and all that. Taraj P. Yep, yeah. Taraj P. They tried to, they tried to throw in, you know, the, 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 the 2025 because truth be told, something big is coming, man. But these celebrities and politicians and these athletes, the Heavenly Father is going to expose them, man. And he's going to show you what a shit show America is. Because that's what America is. It's a fucking shit show, man. I mean, everywhere you look, everything's a shit show. Like, 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 like we were saying, you know, your presidents, all these people in here in Babylon. Like, like the brother was mentioning that these people want to have sex with, uh, with um, cars, you know, uh, animals. They want to have sex with a damn pole. It's a fucking shit show. These people want to have fifty different genders. Nope, <laughs> These people want to turn into, you know, bugged out shit like the conscious community and say stupid shit like, oh, one day, one day, I, I felt, I felt like I was in. Uh, they'll say, they'll say, and see, this is how you know these people are bugged out, man, and they're against, they're against uh, the Israelites, man. The, the bugged out. He said, he said, one day I feel like I was in. One day I felt like I was here before, but then I, I, I had a dream. And I was reincarnated, and and, and 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 I was a female. But see, this is the bugged out shit that they believe in the conscious community, man. It, it's bugged out. That, see, that's how you know America's a shit show, man. Yep. <laughs> these people, these people are here are a damn joke. You know, these two third GMO babies that don't want to do right according to the Heavenly Father. You know, these people are a shit show. 
these wicked ass women, not you sincere uh, sisters or you sisters that want to do right. You know, they, they, I mean, these women, I mean, that they promote today, like Sexy Red, Glow Rilla, Megan Thee Stallion, Lotto, Cardi B, uh, Lotto, they're a fucking shit show. They get a uh, fake ass, but a uh, fake butt implants. God. Every th th these uh, uh, now they got these celebrities trying to what was his name? E, e uh, I forgot E uh, E forty or something. Yeah, yeah. He was trying to have people vote for Joe Biden, and now they trying to have Waka Flocka <laughs> to vote for Trump. And now you Jakes, now you Jakes want to uh, vote for Trump, man, and talk about voting. And, and, and you know, I went to this place, man. You know, they talking about so you registered to vote, man. Fuck vote, man. Voting ain't gonna do shit. Bro. Honestly, that's that really goes against the laws too. Can the scriptures say don't set up a king of another nation to be over us and whatnot? Huh. You know, so when you're doing that, you're pretty much setting up Joe Biden or yep. uh, Donald Trump to be a king over you and whatnot. And then you had Mitch McConnell in his interview. He couldn't even say he couldn't even say it not just once but twice. Mitch McConnell is a so-called re Republican. These are these so-called leaders, right? They can't even say one word. Mitch McConnell was like, and uh, uh, he couldn't even speak, man. He, uh, like a damn robot, man. <laughs> Truth uh, be told, I believe most of these uh, politicians in office are, are clones and they aren't even are human, man. But see, the, the Heavenly Father is showing you what a shit show America is and what he's going to make it, man. Cause, okay, because he's going to completely destroy this place, man. And, 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 I'm, and now I'm going to explain how America got its power, man. Because one time, America used to be called uh, tender and delicate, man. Everyone used to love Babylon the Great back in the day, man. Everybody wanted to chase their dream and be a part of the, you know, the American Idol, right? And they wanted to, you know, be a so-called uh, chase their dream, right? But now people are now now these Babylonians are involved. They were, now these yeah, Babylonians. Yeah. Are they involved. realize it's really an American nightmare now, rather yep. than American. Dream. It was it was this Eve. She said, "Well, I used to, I I just feel like everything it, it, it it's it's a joke, and I I just don't know why, and, and everything. I'm not happy because I I was the type that I wanted everybody to vote, and I even told my my." Family and pa my family and parents that I that that I wanted that wanted to vote because they, they they don't really care as far as you know what's going on but they don't even want to vote because and see man these Babylonians man they're through man <laughs> uh -huh. but see the see the heavenly Father is exposing everything man yep. through these politicians these celebrities and very soon he's gonna do away with the dollar man all this shit is going to go to non-existent. So hey, if you people y'all still want to listen to NBA YoungBoy and all, then go ahead. But guess what? The Heavenly Father, he's gonna do away with NBA YoungBoy, man. And he, and he gonna make NBA YoungBoy uh, nothing, man. Yep. To the point where he ain't, he ain't gonna be non-existent anymore, man. Cause, Cause these devils know their time is up, man. So they, so they gotta do what what they can, man. Cause they gonna get destroyed anyway. Man. Right. This is uh. So Lockie, I want to make a quick point before okay, we go okay. into that. Okay. Dealing with uh not voting and all that yeah. because when you watch if you watch the BET Awards, yeah, that was you know, a you, shit show. Yeah, exactly. A shit show. Yep. You know, and you heard to Taraj J P. Her her main vote message. Biden. Yeah, vote for Biden and vote shit because show, if you don't vote, they're gonna push this twenty twenty five agenda. That was her main message. But you know that, that's the problem with a lot of our people. They think that voting is gonna help something. It's not because number one, they already know what they got planned. They exactly. Are, they already know who's finna be the so-called next president. The destruction is up. The damage yeah. has already been done. Exactly. You know, everything is already predestined to happen the way it's gonna happen anyway. You know, and these presidents, they're just so-called presidents. The people that's running for president, they're controlled oppositions. Come. Here it is, they having these debates, acting like, oh, I'll do this for this country. I'll be a better president than him. And they really just controlled opposition. Right. That's it. And Ordo Ab Kale. On, you know that high 33rd degree level model man huh. order out of chaos man because that's what they're going to create very soon yep. it's chaos man and mass confusion man to the point where you don't even know what's going on and you and you screaming and, 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 and you're dim and you're, 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 you're it's, it's mass confusion and chaos and you don't even know what to do man God. this is a uh, lamentation chapter 4 and verse 17 it says, as for us, our eyes as yet filled for vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. All right, these damn prisoners, they can't save you. 
Nope. Esau, you know, they can't save you. Donald Trump can't save you. Sorry, he can't save you. Joe Biden. You know, yeah. Biden damn sure. Yeah, he can't even save his damn self. You know, that, that he, can't, he can't even save one word. Right, that nigga, is, he trips up the stairs every time he's trying to get on the plane. He yeah. nigga falls every time he's trying to get on the plane. He though. can't even, he, he fall on his damn bike. Yeah. <laughs> This nigga, he, this is who y'all trust. He he eats popsicles when he's doing a damn uh, conference or something like that. When he's on stage, he goes to yeah. sleep in damn near all of his conference. Like come right, like. and this is who y'all voting for. Like come on now, <laughs> like just like like you gotta just wake up. And and Trump know. is a clown too. Yeah, man. yeah. Yeah, he, 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 he exploiting a lot of you Israelites, you know. Oh, I got these shoes, you know. Yep. I got your favorite they, they, rapper. They, they, made a, they made it. They uh, made it a remix. I got stepping in my trunk. It's like that yeah, Nelly remix. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that tried to get Jake. Yeah. Jake, is, Jake is making rap music now, talking about I'm voting for Trump, F Biden. I remember I used to, now Jake think, you know, Biden gonna save him, man. These presidents, man, they ain't gonna save you, man. Yeah. How about Shim Yao Shai is going to save you? Yo, and These I scriptures are gonna save you. Not no damn president, not no damn celebrity, not no damn entertainer or athlete. Because all they're doing is pushing the agenda the small hats want them to push, man. God. Like like Tajara P. Henson, man, telling y'all to vote, man. See, I already knew she was giving a script, man. She was giving a script, man. They all get, get, are giving scripts, man. They got to play their role, man. God. They're actors, paid actors, man. Yo, and I seen a uh, video, you know, of uh, Lil Pump. He, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, little pump. Yeah, that dude. He be painting his nails. Yeah, and he be, yo. you know, he be but, wearing all that pink and stuff. Man, kind of, but did you crazy. see what he did though? And now he got a trunk. Yeah, he got oh, trunk. Man. He got trunk. I mean, I, who who misses the little pump anyway? Kind. Of. Yeah, he got trunk mugshot tattooed on him. See, like this. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah this is what Jake out here doing. Yeah, this is, and this nigga this got the one, damn. Uh, uh, he uh, threw. Yeah, he got kind of. the Make America Great Again hat. Kind. Of. He got the Make uh, America Great threw. Again hat on. Oh, Jake, Jake don't know what the hell going on. Jake, they don't know what's right. Going so called on. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans think voting finna really help you. I believe Trump like, will come on, that uh, martial law. Yeah, come on, when he come on in. Kind. But yeah. Mean, this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 17 and verse 14. Letting you know that you're not supposed to be voting for these damn devils because number one, they ain't gonna save you. Nope. And then number two, you know, this is part of our law. We ain't supposed to be setting, you know, up a, a king over ourselves. It's not of our nation. Kind you know what I mean? So this is Deuteronomy chapter 17 and verse 14, and it says, When thou art come unto the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee, thou shalt possess it, and shalt dwell therein, and shalt say, I will set a king over me, like as all the nations that are about me. Verse 15, Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy power shall choose. Run from among thy brethren, shalt thou set king over thee. They, thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother, all right? So somebody that's not a fellow Israelite, he's not supposed to be, you know, ruling over you, you know what I'm saying, or being king over you, all right? You know, like that, that's part of our law. So you're not supposed to be trying to go out here and vote for Sleepy Joe to be your president or yeah. down, uh, uh, Donald Trump to be your president. Like, yeah. that's going off, you know? So now you know you're not, when that, uh, when that voting time come around, you're not supposed to take your black ass in that line yeah. and, and, and vote. But you know, Jay, you know, Jay and E, they're going to do that. They're going to do it. They're still going to do that. They're going to be hot as hell. They, they looking for yeah. a, They want their so-called savior. Yeah, they kind of. Instead of these scriptures, you want to trust these damn presidents. They ain't going to do shit for you. They ain't going to do a damn thing. They ain't going to do nothing for you, man. But lead y'all to the slaughter like Biden did, man. Kind of. It's gonna be hot as hell outside, but Jake's gonna be standing in that line Niggas to vote. Be voting. Yeah, like it's 2024. Y'all still vote. Yeah, come on now. You, through, man. you think that's really finna help something? Like even these celebrities that's pushing that, they know damn well it's not finna help. They just pretty much playing their part, being the puppet that they is yep. to push the agenda. So R. J. P. Henson, she she a damn puppet. Yep. She know that voting ain't finna help nothing. Just pulling their puppet strings. Yeah, that's all. Doing what they told. Man. And she was given a script. Told her, hey, go out there and tell them black folks to vote. Yep, and tell them to do this and that. Yeah, that's all that happened, you know. But yeah, that's I just wanted to bring that out. Oh, come. Yeah, so yeah, you go, Let ahead, me go ahead and finish. As for the, our re Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, uh, yeah, yeah, in, the, in his name, the Holy One of Israel, sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was rough with my people. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didn't show thou them no mercy, 
upon the ancient, hast thou verily heavily laid thy yoke? And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou did not lay these things to thy heart, neither didn't remember the latter in end of it. And, uh, therefore, here now this thou, uh, thou that are given to pleasures that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of the, of the children. But these two things shall come to thee in moment in one day. The loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorcery and the great abundance of thine enchantments. And see, that's how America, so-called Babylon, America, the great got his power, man, through the left-hand side, man, through these secret societies like the Kabbalah, these Freemasons, the Rosicrucians, the Ordo Templi Orientis, and, and the Theosophical Society, all these satanic uh, groups. That's and why you think these so-called, how you think these so-called uh, celebrities get, and these politicians get their power, man. They gotta, they gotta, something, they gotta uh, praise Satan on a day-to-day -day basis, man. Okay, that's what them celeb, that's why them celebrities are in the Kabbalah for, man. Or them politicians. Even uh, Tucker Carlson, he had on his red string. He's a part of it, man. He got to play his role too, man. Okay, but that's how America got his power, through sorcery and witchcraft and, and basically Satanism on the left-hand side, power on the left-hand side, and basically summoning uh, black magic and, you know, dark magic to summon them left-hand spirits, man. That's how America got its power, man, and all these famous people you see today, man. But see, the Lord is going to do away with all that, man. Okay, and all these different idols that idols and gods that they worship, like uh, Shiva, the, the, the destroyer, or all these Indian, East Indian gods that they be worshiping in, in the uh, New Age. Be because uh, one time, the uh, what's his name, Adam uh, Gabriasis in their meeting, they had the, uh, the Shiva statue in their meeting. So, so that lets you know, man, they, 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 they worship Satan. And they letting you know how they get their power, man, through witchcraft, man. Why do you think majority of these people today are now practicing, now majority of these women today are practicing witchcraft, man? Now, mo, now a lot of these Jakes and Eves are clinging on to witchcraft and Satanism, wearing skull and bones and upside down pentagrams, man, because they've been influenced by by, by America, man, of Babylon, that, that Aleister Crowley, do as thou wilt mindset, man. And, and, and that's the spirit on these people, man. They got the, they got the spirit of the Antichrist on these people, man. And, but see, the Heavenly Father, man, he's going to do away with all that, man. Okay, all these celebrities that think they're better than the Most High, and, and, they, and, they, were, and they were given a deal, man, to say, hey, you got to um, sign your name in blood, and you got to do as we tell you to go against the children of Israel, and the Most High and His Son and the angels, man, and against the Bible, man, and they took that deal, man. That's why you see these celebrities. That's why they're throwing up, you know, the six six hand signs and wearing their upside down crosses and in their um, allegiance to Satan and they're mocking of Yahweh Shah, like uh, Kendrick Lamar, because they're showing you their allegiance, their real allegiance to against the Heavenly Father, man. And see, the, and see, the problem is you people think that, oh, well, it, you think that these people have talent, man. You worship them like they're gods. Because, brother, I was on a um, train the other day. This Jake, so it was an Eve. At least this sister, she had some sense. She was like, you know, Jay-Z, he ain't, you know, Jay-Z ain't all of that. You know, he's wicked as hell. And, and you know, he has to do certain things to get rich. Jake was defending Jay-Z like, like that was his guy. You don't know what you're talking about. Jay-Z is, Jay -Z is, the, is the greatest person ever. What are you talking about? Prove it to me. She was yelling at E, like, prove it to me. Okay. Look at his shirt, do as thou will. Aleister Crowley uh, in his book wrote, do as thou will. And all these celebrities and politicians and entertainers, they have his book somewhere in their home, man. Yep. Okay? But the Heavenly Father is exposing, you know, all the devil worship, all the black magic that they're promoting, all the enchantments 
they're promoting to these people because that's how these people have been under captivity and indoctrination, man. They've been, a spell has been casted on them, man. But the scriptures say, no enchantment shall work against Jacob, man. Yep. Okay, so all the all the witchcrafts that, that Esau tries to put out, all of his demonic spirit summoning that he tries to put out, it ain't going to work on this, man. Yep. It's only going to work on the, the people that don't know what's going on, man, and want to stay stuck, you know, in La La Land, man. And that's why the Heavenly Father said, if you, if, if you want to stay in the ways of Babylon in America, you're gonna be you're gonna be crushed and destroyed along with America and Babylon, man. Okay. And, I can uh, go ahead and get there right some, okay. Yeah, the scripture that you was referencing. Okay. You know, dealing with no enchantment. So this is a uh, this is Numbers chapter twenty three and verse twenty three. Okay. And it says, Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any deviation or uh, divination against Israel, according to this time it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what had Yahweh Bashim Yahushua See, that's not gonna work on the men of the Lord, man. See, it don't matter what these these politicians or these celebrities do on a day to day basis. What these thirty third degree Freemasons at the top, like Albert Pike and you know Alistair Crowley going and Helena Blavatsky going on down the line, dude. It ain't gonna work on us, man. It don't even matter what Umar Johnson in the conscious community talking to his uh, African spiritual guides saying, oh, oh, Shun, and praying to Orisha, that's not going to work on us, man. Yeah. Okay, because we see right through your bullshit. We see, we, we see through all your bullshit, man, and all the, all the wickedness that, that's being done, man. Okay, that's why, that, that, that's why these, 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 these you-know-whats that claim they're the people, that's why they're being exposed, man, underground in New York City. And now these now now these celebrities are getting exposed. Like Pete did even know it was said a long time ago. And now all these celebrities are getting exposed from the from the Epstein Island now. Hey man, the Heavenly Father is revealing everything, man. Right. But but see, the, the, the problem is, man, you you people that are in the world, y'all need to realize what's going on, man. <laughs> Especially that Jake. That Jake was through, man. He was like he would defend Jay-Z like that, that's his guy, man. See that's y'all problem. And that's man. that's y'all worship y'all really. worship these celebrities like or these entertainers or athletes like they're gods, man. Y'all will defend people like LeBron James and, and you know all the or Tom Brady, man, like they're gods, man. Right. And oh, that's Michael Jordan, he the best basketball player. Exactly. No LeBron is. Jake will kill somebody over that. Yeah. Shoot, Jake could kill somebody over a Jay Z, a Kanye, and all that. I think, all that a, I think it was a situation years ago where that did happen. It was a conversation between two Jakes about who the best basketball player, LeBron James or yep. Michael Jordan. And, and I think one, way, yeah, one thing led to another and somebody got killed. Like, just, just Jake is really retarded at the end of the day. And this is uh, verse, uh, uh, verse, oh, yeah, yeah, verse 10. For thou hast trusted in thine wickedness, thou hast said, none seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge they have perverted thee, and thou hast said in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now with thine enchantments, and with thy multitude of thy sorceries, wherein Thou hast labored from thy youth. If so, be thou shalt be able to profit. If so, thou mayest prevail. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsel. Let now as the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators, and stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Behold, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a cold to warm at, nor fire to sit before thee, man. So, hey, man, all you people, man, that want to trust in the conscious community, y'all, you women that want to call yourselves goddesses, you you dudes that want to tap into the, you, you know, your chakras and all that, y'all want to do, uh, you, you want to do uh, what they call a spirit, channeling of spirits. 
Mm -hmm. I think or, or calling on basically calling on demonic spirits. So y'all want to tap it or y'all want to tap it, worship the crystals like they're your gods. You want to do tarot cards. You want to uh, burn sages. Go ahead and do all that, man. And, and we'll, let, let's see when Jacob's trouble comes, when they roll out the Pete Demick. Let's see if all that witchcraft and all that Satanism y'all practice going to save y'all in the day of trouble, man. Because it's not, man. And all these satanic gods and idols, the Heavenly Father is going to crush that shit, man. He's going to he's going to break that shit into pieces, man. All these god, all these 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 satanic gods that y'all be worshiping, like in the like in the the African spiritual or in the conscious community, like in the Egyptology, y'all be worshiping Osiris, uh, Horus, and, and going on down, man. All all them gods. Let's see if them gods gonna save you. In the day of trouble, man, because they ain't all this all because 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 Jake and Eve think that this witchcraft is is, is going to save them when when because 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 they don't want they don't want to hear the Bible now because because when you tell these people this they don't want to hear it. they don't want to hear it at all they just like ah I don't care I'm gonna do what I do because I because because of how I feel they go off of feelings instead of according to the Bible man that that's what they go off of man and. And that, that's going to be their downfall, man. <laughs> and man, all these so-called people calling themselves spiritual. <laughs> but, then, but then they talk about some bugged out shit, man. And people, and, and people really believe this stuff. Y'all call us crazy, but listen to what they say. Y'all don't think they're crazy? <laughs> Y'all saying we're crazy. All we're doing is reading the Bible. They're just talking out of bullshit, man. <laughs> they're, they're just saying any old damn thing, man. Okay? Right. But but see, cause cause the heavenly father, he gonna use the all them all them witchcrafts. Cause we've been telling you, Jake and these that been messing with that stuff, don't do it. But you did it anyway. And see, that's why the heavenly father, man, he's going to destroy you off of that, man. God. And uh I think I got yeah, I think I got something. It was something else we had wanted to touch on, I thought. I think it was the I think it was the money situation. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I got that. Yeah. <clears throat> Which one you get first? Uh, James, I'm gonna start James three. I think it's James one and one and uh, ten. Yeah, James one and ten. Right. Yeah, the Salaki people, but understand all the people that are practicing, you know, witchcraft. All these, you know, top, you know, all these top politicians, celebrities that got their power from the left hand side. <clears throat> The Heavenly Father is going to destroy them, man, and he's going to turn them into nothing, man. And they're just going to be, they're, they're going to be done away with, man. And we're telling you people that are into that, man, y'all better repent and come back to the Heavenly Father, man. Because if you don't, the Lord, he's going to kill you too. And you're not going to be remembered in the, in the book, man. You're going to be remembered as getting burnt up, man. And, and, and that was the, the main message, man. And that's how America got its power, man, through basically everything on the left-hand side. That's how Babylon got its power, man, and right. through the indoctrination of these people. That's why when the brother was mentioning, that's why they got the all-seeing eye on the back of your dollar bill, man. <clears throat> and, and, and that's why that's why they're promoting I mean, stuff like, like at Arby's. Now, I don't know if they have it or not. That's why they got that. Illuminati said the return is near, man. They got the poster right. They're putting it right in your face, man. Because they 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 telling you how stupid majority of these people are. That's what they're basically saying, man. Because unfortunately, majority of people are asleep, man, and they are very <laughs> stupid, man. Okay. But and, and and it's the sad reality. Matter of fact, uh. If you ain't got it, I can get uh, Zephaniah chapter one. If okay. you ain't, if okay. you ain't got it yet. You, yeah, you get it. Go ahead. Kind of, yeah, so, uh, yeah, going into the situation like with money, we want to touch on that a little bit. You know, because like we were stating earlier, you know, pretty much, you know, uh, money is like the main reason why the majority of people are proud. You know, because they put money on a the pedestal. They think that it's pretty much the answer to everything. You know, but don't realize that very soon, you know, this money that you're chasing, yep. you know, that. So, Matter of fact, I got it. I got it. I got it, 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 it brother. All right. This is uh, <clears throat> this is this is James. It's like it's like this is all right. This is James chapter one, 
and verses uh, 10. Yeah, 10. But the rich in that he is made low because as the flower of the the, the, the grass, he shall pass away. Because see, what you got to understand, man, is this, in the scripts it tells you the rich oppresses the poor, man. Okay? And, and see, because these people, they think that, you know, because they got money and stuff, they think they got status and power, man. Like that like that clown Anton Daniels, man. But see, the Heavenly Father said he's going to make the rich low, man. Okay? And he's going to take all your riches away, man. That's what, that's what, that's what Esau is getting ready to do when he gets rid of this paper dollar, man. Because when that paper dollar goes to zero, and you ain't got nothing, and, 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 and when that... Cause it's, cause it's all set up, man. All through the through the Federal Reserve, man. They just they just print the they just print money, man. It's not even real money. It's just fake, you know. Cause they can print they can print you know billions of them, man. It's it's not even real money, truth be told. But but the, but the Heavenly Father, man, you gonna do away with that, man. See, you might be getting your you you know your your uh you might be getting your money at the uh at the Commerce Bank, man. But very soon, man. Hey, when, when, when Saudi Arabia and USA, once they get into that, once they start shaking hands and once they start uh, uh, really doing it, or when you hear the news saying, oh, well, such and such uh, bank account uh, um, um, went, went out, or, or, the, or the, the, they're basically, <clears throat> or, or the, the, they're basically, you know, ain't going to be no paper money, man. That's when shit going to get real, man. You people going to be in mourning, man. Y'all going to be like, damn, what, what happened to all the money? Man, what happened to all the money? I thought all the, all the money was right there. Okay. See, man, we told y'all, man, that Esau is going to do away with the dollar because the main thing of getting rid of the dollar is so they can roll out the, the, that, that, the correct money. Right, CBDC, the central CBDC, bank digital CBDC, currency, man. which is going to be linked and to pretty you much know the it's MOTV. Crazy, you got now. Now I'm not saying, but but you got a lot of these is some Israelite people in the troop telling you that you need to you know what, you know trying to help you with this cryptocurrency and all that. But I told them, what did they get rid of the dollar? Then what? Huh. What what's that crypto and all that money? What's that gonna mean when they get rid of the dollar? Huh. See, they, they they just think that you know you being an Israelite. And you being the Israel, all I know is just I'm an Israelite. No, it's bigger than that, man. Yeah. Because see, you people don't even understand what the mark of the beast is. Y'all don't, or or know what the chip is, because your leader told you the, the complete opposite, man. Yeah. And, and, and your leader told you, hey, you really think God cares if you put a micro <clears throat> chip in your body? Or your leader said, we in June, ain't no micro chip. <laughs> or your leaders will say. Well, the mark of the beast ain't the the the, the microchip, man. <laughs> and see, that's why a lot of you people, y'all gonna be led to the slaughter, man. Y'all gonna end up taking that chip, man, with right. no problem. Y'all yep. gonna end up uh, taking that Elon Musk's Neuralink with no problem. Yeah, and then y'all just gonna go on about your day. See, like like for example, when that when that when that Eve uh, rapper was promoting the, uh, you know the the. Uh, I think it was the what was it the scan on her yeah, head? Yeah, 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 yeah. That see that that's yeah, what's what was going her, to be. I forget what her name was. Uh, yeah. Cash doll. Yeah, cash doll. Yeah, cash doll. Yeah. That's what's going to be a reality for you, <clears throat> man. And that's going to be real life. See, j just like when they had you take the when they had them celebrities have you taking the you know what you know Boosie, you, you know uh, 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 I forgot that the other dude. Juneville, yeah, yeah, juvenile, juvenile, yeah, juvenile. These same celebrities, they're gonna tell or uh, Brandy, yeah, I think it was Brandy. And uh, these same celebrities, they're gonna tell you to take the Caragma, man, like Cash Doll. They just use Cash Doll just so you can kind of get you, in, yeah, she's pretty much example. scanning like her forehead because kind of, with, with all this technology, they're getting you people prepped to take yeah. the chip, man. They're getting all you people prepped with all this new technology, man. And pretty much what they was trying to do, they was trying to act like all she was saying is that her face card is valid. Exactly. You know, or she's a has a pretty face and all that. That's not what she was saying. It was deeper than that. She's pretty much trying to let you know it's going to come a time where you're going to have to scan your forehead to make purchases. Because the scriptures say that in Revelation chapter 13, that you go, you, you could have a, either have a chip in your right hand or your forehead. You know, so that's pretty much what that was going into. But they, she tried to be slick with it and make it seem like she was just using her face card to make purchases, you know. 
But uh, she wasn't sleeping. Nah, yeah, we we saw right through that. If you couldn't see through it, then yeah, you lost. Yeah, you threw. Yep, I think I I got another scripture. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. We forgot Zephaniah one though. If uh, unless you want to get that first. Oh, you got Zephaniah one. Yeah, I'm already on it. If you want to get that. Um. Oh, it don't matter. Uh, let me see. All right, that's that's a lot. All right. All it's right, just, so. Uh, are you getting that verse? Yeah, you go ahead. I got it. Uh, this is James chapter 5 and verse 1. Go to now, ye rich men. Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupt, and your garments are mofetin. Uh, your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heat, treasure together for the last days, man. So when the time comes, man, when the heavenly father gets rid of your riches, man, he's going to have y'all crying that day, man. Y'all gonna be sad and the Lord is going to torment you, man, from the inside out, man. Cause y'all, cause that's the problem, man. Y'all worship money. You worship money as your God instead of the heavenly father, man. Cause truth be told, majority of these people, they can't they can't do anything without money, man. Right. And they make money their priority, man. Instead of stuff like the Bible. Man, fuck the damn money, man. You know, as the as the brothers would say, man, fuck the money, man. Cause when they get rid of the dollar, man, what y'all gonna do, man? It's gonna be toilet paper, basically. It's gonna be shit in that day, man. <laughs> See, people like Anton Daniels. He don't even he don't even understand the heavenly father gonna have it set up because he think because he got his car his nice flashy car he think he got money because really he ain't a nobody i don't mean i ain't i really know. never heard of i him. never heard i of never heard his doing until he talked shit. Yeah. exactly like who the fuck is you yeah. who are you and until he started talking to the israelites but since you want to get attention bro you're gonna get your attention, man. God. The heavenly Father, He gonna give you all the attention you ask for. He gonna take away all your money. He's gonna take away all your car. He's gonna take away your house. He gonna take all that shit away, man. And let's see what you do in that day, man. And it's just crazy how a lot of these scoffers they try to shit on us and act like we ain't nothing. But you use us as exactly. your talking point. Exactly. You need us so you can stay relevant. Right. You know, you wouldn't have nothing to talk about right. if, if it went for us. Because who is you? Right. Like, who are you? Well, like, that's the only reason I. I I never heard of an Anton Daniels before this. Right, like, like, I never know who was this guy, <laughs> bro. Man, he want to pop up all this grunt. But you see, know, well, come on, the man. Heavenly Father, he gonna have you. He gonna have you crying in that day, man. Huh. He gonna have you tormented, Anton Daniels. So keep talking your shit to the Israelites just to make yourself relevant. If you ain't even fucking relevant. The Heavenly Father gonna make you unrelevant. Like fucking, he gonna make you into the damn Joe Biden very soon, mm -hmm. man. <laughs> And, and he gonna turn you into the damn BET Awards Cause I don't nobody even watch the BET BET ain't been Well it never was good But it ain't been watched since what The early 2000s yeah, it's, 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 no, no, it's yeah. like It's like watching you know the, the toilet basically God, It's like, it's like uh, pretty much all the BET Awards They try to say oh it's owned by black people No it's still no, it's owned the, by small, the small hats small The small hats yeah, own BET Basically, they still behind it. You know what I mean? The small hats are still behind it. You know, and the way that you know it is because it's a, it's a certain agenda that's always being pushed on the BET Awards. You know, you either have some uh, woke stuff. You know, you have some damn alphabetism being pushed. Come. You know, uh, go vote. You know, you know, we're Africans and all that. Come. You know, it's the type of stuff that's being pushed. You know, it's, in the whole, it's an agenda to keep you asleep. Come. That's all it really is. It's like, there's one more thing I wanted to mention. And also going into the rich. You know, the heavenly father. This this is also talking about the, uh, the these 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 rappers and these entertainers that sold they that sold they um, souls just to get for fame and fortune and for money. The heavenly father, he gonna take that away too, man, from them, man. All, see all these like 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 NBA young boys, these sexy reds, Nicki Minaj's uh, futures. Uh, all he's going he's going to take their riches away. And you, you see a lot of these uh, these rappers are dying a, a lot by the number. Uh, what's that? Uh, well, we already went over that. Uh, Fulio? Yeah, Fulio. Yeah. He, he died recently. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I, I, mean, I was saying for so long, like, I wasn't even surprised when I heard that he got killed, really. 
I wasn't surprised. Cause I've been saying it that he's going to get killed. I've been saying because like when you live that type of lifestyle and you sit around and mock people debts and all that, and like all oh, yeah, you make uh, songs about it standing on a grave and you know, it's only a matter of time until you are getting, uh, until you get put to death too. Uh, it's and it's crazy time. how these celebrities, they'll try to play, they'll try to act like they all hood and stuff. But here it is, they got security guards. Like like for example, NBA Youngboy and the, you know, Blueface and uh, uh, Ice Cube and They'll try to portray a lifestyle that they don't even really live. Right. They got, they got, uh, they got, uh, what? They got security guards watching them. They got all mansions and houses. While, while, while brothers in the hood are trying to, they, they trying to survive and trying to, trying to live a good yeah. life. These rappers don't live that type of lifestyle. And then they got to, and let, let alone they got to see a gangbanger trying to shoot and kill them every day. And they, and they got to fight them every single day. That these, that these so-called uh, so rappers, they don't even live that lifestyle nah. that they claim, man. And the, the, the main group, they really uh pretty much was pushing that, you know, that, that nigga, niggatry, you know, gangster rap music is N.W.A. God. And when you learn- Through Ice Cube. Yeah. So when you look up Ice Cube's history, he ain't no gangster. Nah, he, he never he, been he like that. He grew up in some, you know, some Latin, you know, white uh place, man. Yeah, God. Even when you look at uh, Dr. Dre, this nigga was a dancer. He, is, he was a dancer. When you look at some of his old videos of him dancing, he looks zesty as hell. Don't got, well, he looked, he, he, we know yeah. he by he uh by yeah. and, 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 and he got and, and, and see and see he sold out. That's why he got them beats. Like them beats is what made him famous. And we know the beats represent the uh six six six. And he moved up in the uh in the pyramid, you know, with uh Jimmy Iveen and yeah, them huh. them type devils like Clive Davis and them, them devils, man. Cause Clive Davis in the interview, he admitted that he was a bi he was a bisexual. He God. admitted it. And these are the people running the so-called music industry, man. Yep. Cause the music industry is tainted, man, and it's wicked as hell, man. And it's crazy. And, and if you people are still wanting to chase the bag, chase the, the chase the dollar, do you realize that the Heavenly Father is going to do away with this dollar, man? Do y'all understand? Y'all still going to American Idol? Y'all still going to these celebrities? Uh, to sign a deal like uh, Gucci Mane. Yeah, <laughs> Nigga, uh, Gucci Mane trying to get somebody signed. <laughs> See, the Lord gonna do away with clowns like Gucci Mane and all these garbage ass rappers, man. God. And all your riches, y'all gonna, it's gonna be all taken away from, man. And, and all these elites, that's why they got these underground bunkers like uh, Rick Ross. They know their time is up. They know their money's gonna, finna go to shit. They know all the, all the famous, all the, the indoctrinations, the the witchcrafts, and the and, and the, the, the summoning of demons they had to do and praising Baphomet every day, and all the mold uh, rituals, man. They know their time is up. That's why they got these bunkers. But the heavenly Father, he gonna tear their bunkers apart, man. And the Lord just gonna tear their ass up limb from limb, man. He just gonna have fun and he just gonna play with them, man. Come Tearing their ass up, man. Yep. <laughs> Come on. So you had something else for it? Uh, yeah, that's it on that's it on that. So yeah, I guess uh, I'm gonna get Zephaniah chapter one in. If you ain't had nothing else. Oh, well, I think I got this is a little bit. Come, little come, bit come, come, come. So yeah, Zephaniah one. That's dealing with money as well, I believe. Uh, yeah, Zephaniah chapter one, and we're gonna start at verse. Uh, yeah, start at verse. Uh, one now start verse 10 all right and it says and it shall come to pass in that day said the lord that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate and a howling from the second and a great crashing from the hills verse 11 how ye inhabitants of maktesh for the merchant people are cut down all they that bear silver are cut off all right so you know maktesh back in the ancient days that was pretty much like your ancient wall street and whatnot all right so lock you yeah, I think it just hit twenty percent. Okay. Yeah, kind. Of. So yeah, yeah Mactesh, that's pretty much like your your uh, ancient day Wall Street, you know, where a lot of trading was going on, so on and so forth. So pretty much like we just read, it says how you inhabitants of Mactesh, for all the merchant people are cut down, all they that bear silver are cut off. So pretty much, you know, it's pretty much saying there's gonna come a time where, you know, uh, the economic system is gonna collapse, you know, stock markets, so on and so forth is gonna collapse. All right. Verse. Uh, 12, no, so lucky. Yeah, verse 12, and it says, and it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves that say in their heart, 
the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. All right, and these are the times that we're coming into. A lot of you Israelites that's comfortable, you know, uh, that think the Lord, he's not gonna do nothing. He's, he's gonna punish you. You know, you have a lot of people that's just, you know, they're just comfortable with the way they live right now. Oh, I got a little bit of money, this, that, another, you know, so on and so forth. The Lord's gonna punish you, all right? Now, let me see, I might wanna just jump down to verse, uh, I'm gonna jump down to verse. Matter of fact, let me just continue. Verse 13. It says, Therefore, their goods shall become a booty and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. Verse 14. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near. It hasted greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man, shall cry of their bitter. All right? Verse 15, that, that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. All right, it goes back to Amos chapter 5 and uh, verse 18, where the day of the Lord is going to be dark and not light. And the Heavenly Father ain't going to be happy, man. God. All you people that's living it up and thinking that you're going to have your 401k, he's going he gonna, to he gonna burn all that money. Literally. To, to booty, man. It's going to be shit, man. God. <clears throat> and the heavenly father gonna be pissed at all of y'all, man, for not doing what he told you to do, man. When well, you had all the time and the opportunity, man. And what and the heavenly father gonna say, What did you do for me? Yep. And y'all gonna and the, and the heavenly father gonna spit it out y'all, man. Y'all gonna say, I ain't do shit. Yep. And, and the heavenly father gonna destroy your ass, man. God. He gonna he's going to burn your ass into into little dust, man. God. Because we told you. We told you that these things were, were to happen, man. We told you what you should do, what you shouldn't do, but you didn't want to take it. You didn't want to take that warning. You people are worse than the uh, you people are worse than the, the times of Noah, man. That's why Esau is doing whatever the fuck he wants to you, man. Cause you gonna do everything he said, and because <clears throat> that's what these people do. Here it is, Jake and E. They'll they'll you know Jake will fight 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 his fight his own brother. But let it be the white man. He'll be on his best behavior, man. Same thing with Eve, man. Eve will give a Eve will give give an attitude with 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 the with with this man, uh, his black man. But let it be the white man, boy. She, she'll be she'll do she'll she'll do everything he he tells her. Literally, God. <laughs> this is a uh, verse sixteen. So lucky. Yeah, this is verse sixteen. A day. The trumpet shall alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. Verse 17, I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have. So horny, so right there. Oh, no, 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 don't sting me, don't sting me. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I think I don't know. Oh, that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, I'm <more> tripping. <laughs> Hey, at least the spirit didn't kind. get on him to sting me. Yeah, kind. <laughs> they call all y'all by shim y'all shot. Yeah. I think I think he dealing with it. Yeah, kind. <laughs> <laughs> kind of say, uh, and I will bring distress upon men, and they will walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as dung. See right that now. flesh as see poured out as dust, like I said, man. And all you tough people that think that y'all are so tough, man. Y'all think y'all so tough now. Y'all want to live a lifestyle just because these rappers telling you go, you know, go pop another man's woman to go shoot up, shoot up somebody and kill somebody, man. And now y'all think y'all are tough and big and bad. But until the Heavenly Father comes back and just gets rid of your ass, like the elder, you know, the brother Murph Shalom to you, brother, you know, the elder, you know, GMS um, teach what was being taught, Shalom to you, brother. And, and you know, hey, the brother, like, like the brother said, the Most High is going to get rid of you niggas, man. He's going to get rid of you niggas, man. Because right. that, that's all you want to do, man. Y'all want to be wicked, man. Y'all don't want no type of change. Y'all don't want no type of doing right. Y'all just want to stay being wicked, man. Yep. And that's y'all problem, man. You, you niggas are just, y'all gone, man. Yeah, that's why the scripture said, those that are settled on their leaves, meaning you just comfortable with how things are. You know, that's what the Lord, he's going to be de destroying in these last days, you know. Now, this is the last verse. And this is going to show you, like, how money is going to be a thing of the past. This dollar is going to be worthless. This is verse 18, and it says, Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. 
but the whole land shall be devoured by the foul fire of his jealousy for he shall make even a speedy speedy riddance of all them in the land all right, so you know this dollar is gonna be a thing of the past. And your four one k ain't gonna save you, man. Kind of at all. It don't matter how much you, but everybody don't give a damn. If you got trillions of dollars. That shit still ain't gonna save. You. Kind of. Cause it tells you in Saint Matthew nineteen verse twenty four that it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich man, a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Kind of. So all you people, all you so called famous celebrities that sold out to the bafflement, man. <laughs> Y'all, y'all ain't nine times out of ten. Y'all ain't even gonna make the king, man. Truth yeah. be told. Oh Lord. Where you back? I'm not doing it. <laughs> so Salaki, it was a it was a horny Salaki. I think but you probably should go out here. Yeah, Kai, yeah. Kai. <laughs> you don't want you don't yeah, want yeah, no, that no problems. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Salaki, if people will see you. They must follow me like <laughs> <laughs> Hey, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna just spirit. go out here. <laughs> yeah, kind. Salaki. Salaki, people. But see, in that day, man, the Heavenly Father, he's going to be very. You got the sign. Uh, yep. Oh, you got. Oh, you want me to get there? Yeah. All right. Okay, God. Yeah. So, see, people, in that day, man, if you don't get right with the Heavenly Father, man, and you put your trust in the in in the so-called money, you put your trust in so-called America, man, the Most High is going to do away with you, man. And he's kind. going to just get rid of you. He's going to exterminate you, J just like these Edomites, man. Okay, that's why we tell you, don't put your trust in America, man. Come out of America or, or the ways of Babylon, man. And come in, if you're an Israelite, come, in, come into your heritage, man. Yo. Okay? <laughs> and I got some. God, yeah. Matter of fact, uh, was that it on verse? Uh, yeah, that was it. On, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you go first, ahead and bring out what you want to bring this out. This first Corinthians chapter uh, 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that the temple of the most high and that the spirit of the most high dwelleth in you if any man defile the temple of the most high him shall the most high destroy for the temple of the most high is holy which temple ye are and let no man deceive himself if any man among you seem to be wise in this world let him become a fool that he may be wise for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with, with God for it is written he taking the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise that they are vain. Therefore, let no man glory in men, for all things are yours. So you got to understand, man, don't see the temple, which is your mind. That's talking about your mind is dwelling in you, man. OK, so that means, man, don't be taking like, for example, man, putting that uh the you know what into you into your uh the, the you know what into you man God. when you're doing that man not only are you define your temple man but you're putting yourself at death man that's what the, the side effects start to that is death as you see a lot of these people are dying unexpectedly and people still aren't talking about it do you realize you israelites do you realize the heavenly father is dealing with you and he's telling you not to do these things but you're doing the opposite of that but, but, but you see what I'm saying, man? But see, they don't consider, man, because, you know, the scriptures, and, uh, and I, I can pull that, you know, my people destroyed for the lack of knowledge, man. Okay. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me get that. But but see, man, just because somebody has a degree, just because somebody is so-called smart in this world, so-called has a degree, man, don't let don't let them, because uh, they think they know everything. And now they telling you, well, oh, I got the credentials. I know what's going on. And they telling you to put a certain something in your body. But the next thing you know, they end up dead. Cause it was this, uh, it was this Michigan lady, brother. She was, she had all the so-called credentials. She knew everything. Like th this Michigan woman, she had all the degrees and doctorates. And she was telling everybody. She was the CDC head. Next thing you know, brother died unexpectedly now she did i think i heard about that yeah. and see what i'm saying that's why the most i said let let them uh so-called the wise they're gonna be fools man right. that's what they are man a degree can't determine who you are man it, okay knowing these scriptures is what's going to determine who you are man having your faith and belief in the heavenly father is what's going to determine who you are these people they ain't got no belief and faith in the heavenly father man and all they have they 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 have fear man and through fear, they trust in Esau, Edom, 
And that's how Esau Edom uh, kills them through fear, man. Yo. And, and I got scripture uh, to go along with what you just said. Uh, okay. Oh, talking about the wisdom of this world. Okay. Let me see. Uh, Matter of fact. Yeah, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18. Uh, it says, it's a lot here. This phone kind of moving a little slow. Yeah, okay. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse. Uh, Let me just get it. Oh, you want me to uh, reread it? What you just you just read? Yep. Oh, okay. I can reread it. Yeah, come. All right, this is First Corinthians chapter three and verse eighteen. For no, Salaki, verse nineteen. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God, for for the Most High. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Kind of, yeah. So the wisdom of this world, like, like it's pretty much saying, like the wisdom of this world, like the degrees and all that. You know all these different books and all that that you uh people read and all these yeah. philosophies yeah it's like yeah it's, it's really foolishness, it's foolishness when y'all about to outside the only wisdom that's going to matter is the wisdom of these scriptures you know that's why the scriptures say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your time it's not just talking about any old type of wisdom you know it's not talking about you know the wisdom of a dictionary or you know the wisdom that you might get at a cambridge college or something like huh. that you know or, or the wisdom of like you know like all these different religions yeah, exactly, like, yeah. like like scientology Huh. Hinduism and Buddhism It's all foolishness man Or somebody that's that claim that they have a degree And they know so much And they telling you to put a certain something in your body But now they're dead Here they are, now they're dead man huh. They own foolishness man yep. <laughs> See they ain't trusting the heavenly father They trust in Esau, Edom in this world And look at where it got them, now they dead huh. Look at all these people that are dropping dead like flies And nobody's talking about it man People are just brushing it under the rug People dying unexpectedly, killing them by the billions. That Georgia, the, the Georgia Guidestones maintain humanity under 500 billion kills, uh, 7.5 billion people. Man, it's going on right now, but ain't nobody saying nothing about it. Man, they just, they just, uh, they just quiet about it. But I'm gonna show you what. This Hosea chapter four, verse six. My people are destroyed for the uh, lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest unto me. No, no more seeing thou hast forgotten the law of the most high i will also forget thy children as they were incre increased so they sinned against me therefore will i change their glory into shame they eat up the sin of my people and they set their heart on iniquity yep. okay so that's what the heavenly father the heavenly father is giving you this knowledge he's warning you not to put that certain something in your body he's warning you not to take the uh, MOTB, which is to come very soon, man. But see, you people are rejecting that knowledge. Y'all putting the poison in your body, man. And, and, and now, since y'all wanna, since y'all don't want the most high's knowledge, he's pushing you away, he's saying, all right, I'm gonna let Esau Edom take care of you. Go ahead, do what you do. You wanna take the, you know what, go ahead. You wanna practice all these, all these religions instead of being an Israelite, go ahead, go ahead. And, if, and because very, because the heavenly, he gonna lead y'all to take the CHIP, man. And by that time, when that, when it comes, man, y'all gonna be ashamed in that day. But it's gonna be too late then, because you get the warning is going out right now, man. See, people they mocking, they mocking us, but they don't even realize they're they're only mocking, they're they're only leading themselves to their own death, man. They don't even realize the heavenly Father is separate is separating. The uh, one third and the two thirds, man. They don't even realize that they're a part of the two third that's gonna get ready to get put to death, man. Because they're th these people, they've been led to slaughter, man. The damage is already done, people. The damage is done. And I got uh one more scripture, brother. God. And then that should be it. I was gonna get uh second uh Timothy three and get second Timothy three. Let me see, let's see. Uh, Salaki, Second Timothy, <clears throat> Second Timothy, Salaki. Okay, yep. So Salaki, people. Fifteen, sixteen. All right. Second Timothy. 
What script are you looking for? Uh, Second Timothy three. It start at the top first one. It says, um, "Yeah, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy." Verse three, and it yep. says, "Without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, un incontinent, fierce." despises of those that are good yep and see that that's that's the society we're living in today man see perilous times shall come man you know evil times man yeah, dangerous times and very dangerous times man and you see that man disrespectful obedient to parents man these, this, these yeah, little this gmo yeah. these little gmo babies today they, they'll be quick they, they, a matter of fact it was a uh an eight-year-old girl she killed her own mama man Right. See, th these are the times we're living in. Uh, Ten-year-old little boys are killing their mama because they didn't do what they was supposed to do, and mama told them to do something, and they took the video game away, and now Jake is going to kill them, man. God, I remember that situation. It was like two years ago. God. But see, that's the times we're coming into, and these this generation, these people are disrespectful. These people, they don't want no truth, you know, and they're, and they're proud, and, and, you know, bolsters of their own selves, man, you know, Social media, because that's what social media is, man. It's uh, just lovers of their own selves. Yeah, that's man. why this, that's why social media got to go too, you know, because social media has created a platform to people for people just to be proud for no reason the whole time they ain't even living the lifestyle that they portraying. You know, th that's why social media got to go. You know, the money got to go, social media got to go, all of that. You know, that's part of the reason why the Lord said He gonna take a. Uh, you gonna bring down the hardy and the proud. Con, and nowadays these women they don't even want good brothers. They want do they want uh, disrespectful dudes. They want dudes that's gonna beat the beat the sh crap out of them. Con. And, and and dudes um that, that that's gonna that's gonna kill them. They, they want killers and drug dealers. Dudes that tattoo their whole body. Yeah, Pookie Ray Ray. Pookie and shit, Ray Ray. That, that's what they want. They don't want a brother that's gonna give them the world. That's gonna take care of them and their children. They they don't want that. Man. They want, want the total opposite, but see, the so-called white man did all this, man. Right. And now it's created a generation of degenerates, man, because that's what these generation of, of, or my generation is, man, the generation of degenerates, and they're evil, man. I mean, nowadays, my I see my generation now wearing more satanic stuff than, you know, good stuff. Like, what I was going, nowadays, I've seen more in my generation, they wearing skull and bones, they wearing 666 uh, upside down a pentagram shirts they're wearing uh acdc and uh marilyn manson and, and you know antichrist devil ch uh, child uh, uh type shirts man and, and they ain't got no morals man they don't have no they don't have no training you see that's the problem with th these parents they don't teach their kids the bible they don't raise them the right way and now the education and, and now the government's got to raise the children God. And now, now when your children become degenerates, like this, the apostle with you know GMO little my pet little niggas, that's what they are. They're degenerates. They're gone. Yep. Esau did what he Esau did. It got, it got his plan complete, man. To turn y'all into degenerates. To turn you people against the heavenly Father, man. We once used to be respectful, man. We used to, you know, follow God's laws. We used to be a family and look after each other and protect after each other. Now it's the complete opposite, man. Now we're now we're being alphabets, you know, the moles and then the, the carpet munchers. And then and then you have and then you have, you know, brother going to kill it, shoot, shoot another brother uh, and selling drugs to, to kill it, to kill his own brother. Yep. And then brothers are getting locked up and even ease getting brothers put to death over some stupid shit like like a brother would be in a situation like 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 Eve, like like these women today. Like they'll get you, uh, they, they'll get you caught up with them, 